I'm ready to do the data drop. Yo. <laughs> I feel like this is like really anticlimactic at times. <laughs> Welcome back, chat, and welcome back to another season of Sliced. Yo, uh, thanks for everyone coming out, and uh, welcome. Welcome. Uh, I, I really do appreciate everyone hanging out and uh, being here early. Um, and uh, not only do we have a great season out of us, 12 weeks of Sliced, which is far, far more than we did in our pilot season, but we also have just an incredible show tonight and we're so excited to show you all the hard work that went on behind the scenes and and uh excited to see uh, another set of new sliced contestants meg what are you looking forward to tonight oh my god i'm uh i am like super looking forward to just seeing how different this feels from the pilot uh you know we've been working on this for a couple months now and yeah i'm just excited we've got more contestants We'll have more data sets. It's gonna be all summer. So it's some summer of sliced. Um, you know, I was just thinking earlier today. It really feels like, you know, getting out of school, first day of summer, um, going to camp, and that camp is camp sliced. Um, super pumped. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So let's uh, uh, let's just welcome. Well, first, let's give a big shout out to uh, to a few like a few important people that I just want to point out. Uh, of course, me and Meg have been working on this, but uh, a lot of this wouldn't have uh, come together if it wasn't for our sponsors tonight. So uh, you'll be hearing our sponsors' names throughout the show, but big shout out to our studio and also Streamlit, who uh, both are sponsors this season for us. So claps in chat, hearts in chat for uh, our studio and Streamlit. Um, I don't know, Meg. Uh... Do you, I'm, I know I'm, I know you've heard me say I'm really nervous, but I feel like the thing that I'm most nervous about is, uh, you know, the very end, like, are we going to see some crash and burns in terms of modeling? Right. Yes. I mean, I feel comfortable saying this because 
contestants are muted and deafened, but yes, that is always the part that I'm the most nervous about. Will they make it? Uh, you know, will they have a submission to give us at the end of two hours? Will we have something to judge? Um, yes. Um, yeah. Is this going to be more like the TV show Chopped, or is it going to be more like uh, the TV show Nailed It? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. All right. And I guess with that, let's meet our contestants. Let's do it. I'm Scott Cole. I am a data scientist doing fraud detection at Casha. Hi, my name is Josiah Perry. I'm representing Wind School of the Arts at Novato High School in Novato, California. I'm Kanzi. I hope by the time that you're watching this, Joe Ingalls has won Sixth Man of the Year. Adrian, Kalina Medina, Senior Data Analyst. And thanks for having me. Um, well, welcome all the contestants to Sliced. Again, uh, we have uh, four contestants. This is a little different than what we were doing last season uh, with uh, two contestants at a time. Uh, we bumped it up to four for y'all tonight. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, just go through some of the contestants in a little more depth. Uh, so uh, first, the screen that we're looking at right now here is, oh goodness, let me make sure I have everything right, and I don't want to misrepresent anyone. Meg, are you still with me? I am. I am with you. Okay. Um, screen that we're on right now. Uh, this I is Adrian. Okay. Right. Um, I can't really see. Okay. Interesting that we've got both. Yeah, we've got a Jupyter notebook, Python kernel, and am I seeing our studio? Uh, some R, uh, R code. Interesting. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, and Adrian, uh, you know, he, he is going to be this rare breed of someone who is doing things in both R and in Python tonight. So that'll be pretty interesting to see as we roll through. Uh, next up on the list is Kenzie. Oh, goodness. I knew this was going to freaking happen. <laughs> 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 um no that's not it that's not it oh yeah there we go one of these buttons will work hot, got a lot of hot keys going on <laughs> <laughs> one of these buttons will work here we go uh and our next contestant's kenzi yi uh from his intro he was doing um uh not just uh being a joe ingles stan but also uh, he is a co-founder, or he has founded a company, Sideline HD, which puts overlays on both uh, uh, softball and uh, baseball youth games. So if you want to see scores in live or real time broadcasted on Twitch or on Facebook or wherever, uh, he's got uh, the company that's helping develop put that kind of stuff on. Meg, you got anything on Kanzi? Um, yeah, let's see. Kanzi... Um, let's see. Um, it looks like he'll be using, um, what is he going to be using today? He's going to be using probably a Jupyter notebook inside of VS Code tonight, um, as his preferred environment. Um, so we'll look out for that. Um, and I've also heard that he's a fan of Cat Boost. Um, see if he, if that is part of his toolkit for Sliced today. All right. And, uh, let's go to, uh, Josiah. Now, uh, as you see, a lot of the contestants right now are looking at uh, the Kaggle data. Oh, this reminds me uh, to update that command. So uh, if you are interested in participating along, you have access to this data too. Exclamation data in chat, and that will get you to this Kaggle data set. They're literally looking through this, and they're studying the data 15 minutes before we start. Uh, so at 9 p.m., they'll start uh, hands on keyboard. Josiah, uh, part of uh, the uh, a, a few folks who are participating who are part of our studio. Uh, what do we know about Josiah, Meg? Um, well, yeah, one of the things we know about Josiah is he's a huge espresso nerd and uh, a big fan of music, specifically metalcore and post hardcore. And I think I saw on Twitter that. He was putting together some playlists for himself, uh, specifically to get through Sliced tonight. Um, so you can check him out on 
on Twitter if you want to find that at Josiah Perry uh, on, on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, that's Josiah. All right. And uh, last but not least is uh, Scott Cole. Scott Cole is uh, uh, coming from Cash App, but let's hear from Scott Cole himself uh, and uh, just a little about him in his own words. I'm Scott. I am technically a machine learning engineer modeler at Cash App, but I, I feel like I identify as a data scientist because I don't think I code particularly well enough to be called an engineer. So I have this ruler and you, you may recognize this ruler. It's been wrapped around 150 burritos across San Diego and the country when I was curating a burrito data set. And it's gotten really greasy, as, as you can see. I definitely ate upwards of four or five a week for a while. And since I played a lot of volleyball, it was necessary nutrition. I always felt like people liked my burrito project, not because I did any particularly good analysis, but just because there's a cult love for burritos. And no matter how shit my data or analysis was, people were gonna really like it just because they really like burritos. So often it's, it's not necessarily about the quality of work that I do, but more just how it connects to other people. And uh, what do we know about Scott Cole, Meg? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, first, it's funny just watching that video again. Somehow I've seen that video several times, but only just now noticed the gigantic sl stack of cliff bars, although that was part of his bio all along. Um, I saw that, um, you know, speaking of some of the banter we saw early on in, on Twitter, I saw there was a lot of like intimidation factor over uh, the amount of garbanzo beans that Scott eats every day. I guess he eats a can every single day in a very specific way. So uh, watch out for that. Um, the machine that he'll be using today, um, you know, he'll be using a Jupyter Notebook on a MacBook Pro here, but uh, as it says here, but fun fact that uh, MacBook Pro came from his PhD advisor. So thank you, Scott Cole's PhD advisor for enabling him to compete in Sliced tonight. Shout out to uh, Brad Wojtek. <laughs> Gas Lab homies with that guy. So uh, we see here, I don't know, uh, I know our faces are covering up the top right corner of his browser right now, but Scott Cole in particular, uh, his... Um, he has this big old yellow Chrome update thing, and it's absolutely triggering me. Oh, yeah, whenever you see that, right? <laughs> it is absolutely triggering me. So uh, contestants have five more minutes to, to uh, you know, this is the 15 minutes at the beginning of Slice. Uh, they have uh, all the time to just look over the data, look over the different features that are in it, uh, take any notes from the data dictionary or any of the, uh, any of the, data types that they may be, that they might be working with and uh ultimately tonight uh let's talk a little about the data set meg sure yeah tonight's data set is a data set um, about board games um so this is a, is a data set from boardgamegeek.com um so our rows or observations here are board games um and have a bunch of like metadata from this website and one uh, piece in particular that they'll be predicting on is called the Geek Rating. So users of the Board Game Geek website uh, can rate the board games. And so they'll be uh, predicting the rating based on various things like uh, what type of game it is, um, the age kind of like range uh, for the game, uh, the number of people that, I guess, own it, etc. Um, you can check out all of the columns that our contestants will be using to predict on uh, on the data set. You can check, check out the data set at um, exclamation point data. Um, so they'll be, yeah, they'll be predicting uh, the geek rating for these data sets. Um, their uh, evaluation algorithm is RC tonight. Um, and yeah, I think we've got maybe about um, something like 5,000 or so. Uh, observations total across test and train set. Um, 
and they'll be making submissions through the Kaggle platform. So that's uh, new for those of you who've watched uh, the pilot season. Nick painstakingly uh, 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 um, evaluated uh, contestant submissions by hand in a Jupyter notebook uh, today. Um, and for this season, we'll be using Kaggle. Um, so if you yourself are so inclined uh, to participate in the challenge, you can do so alongside our contestants and uh, join the competition, make submissions, um, and see your name alongside theirs on the leaderboard. Uh, so right now we are looking at uh, Scott Cole's notebook. Uh, this is Scott Cole right here. Uh, Adrian is uh, right here. We're looking at Adrian's notebook. Uh, here he's going to be split between R and Python. Uh, we'll also have a look at Josiah Perry, who apparently decided to accidentally go to, go, go to I don't know, his login screen or something. But... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't spend too much time not coding. And um, last but not least, we'll be seeing uh, Kanzi Yi, uh, who will be, uh, I believe, using uh, a, co a collab notebook and also Cat Boost seems to be his preferred modeling package. So uh, before we get started, two minutes before we get started here, I just want to say uh, the rules. So if you are unfamiliar with Slice, uh, the rules are very simple. These uh, four contestants have never seen this data before, and they have two hours from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. to create a predictive model. And they're trying to predict the the game rating or the geek rating in this data set. So they're trying to create a predictive model and have the lowest RMSE by the end of the night. Along the way, they'll be creating data visualization, and also they'll be doing uh, different things to the data that may or may not uh, be good coding practices or things that me and Meg just want to see. All of these things relate to points. You get 35 points if you have the best model. Uh, data visualization, me and Meg both have 15 points to give out and so we will uh, distribute our 15 points each uh, across the four contestants depending on how much we personally enjoy their data visualization. Uh, there is two golden features tonight. A golden feature is something that uh, if a contestant finds, if they do something to the data, if they do something in data visualization or modeling that me and Meg have sort of buried some, uh, some value into, uh, they can earn either 10 points for one of the golden features or five points for a golden feature. And Meg, uh, do you want to talk about our two golden features tonight? Yeah, so um, our first golden feature is worth five points, and it is to create a categorical plot, plot of any kind, uh, using a category, which is a column in the data set. Um, and before I tell you about the second golden feature, I'm going to let our contestants know that they can start coding now. Um, so we'll start to see them write code. And we are um, seeing them uh, starting some code. We're on Josiah's screen right now. He is already uh, portioning off four of his cores for parallel here processing here. Uh, we could take a look at Kanzi's screen here. He is uh, installing Cat Boost and also installing Shap. So we'll see some future importance plots perhaps along the way. Uh, over here at Scott's screen, uh, we're seeing uh, Scott load in the data and he's already loaded in uh, a few of your typical packages you see, uh, uh, your uh, matplotlib, your numpy, your uh, scikit-learn stuff, and your pandas. So uh, we are already seeing uh, Scott just tackling the data into some sort of data frame. And uh, last and definitely not uh, least at all, at least not at this point in time, is Kanzi, or not Kanzi, uh, Adrian. And Adrian, again, this is the freaking weird one, y'all. He is both in a Jupyter Notebook and in an RStudio session. He'll be switching between the two throughout this entire contest. All right, I'm going to kick off our first prediction, Nick. Go for um, it. So our first prediction for chat, so you can use your chat points um, to vote, or I guess you would say, um, for a prediction. Um, so there would be kind of two possible outcomes, yes or no. Will we see a data visualization from one of our contestants before 9.15 uh, Eastern? So within the first uh, the first uh, 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to kick that off once I get it underneath 
the lim the amount of characters here. All right. Start prediction. Got it. All right. So go ahead and vote uh, if you uh, think we will or will not see a data visualization from one of our contestants before 9.15 Eastern. All right. Um, so should we talk about our second golden feature, Nick? With yeah. 10 points? Let's hear the 10-point golden feature. Cool. I knew that they weren't going to find the second golden feature with two points, or with 10 points, excuse me, within the first two minutes. Um, so let's get back to it now. Um, so the second golden feature uh, worth 10 points is a little tricky. It is to use both mechanic and category, which are each um, features in the data set uh, as features in a model. Um, so we want to see them use both. And that is a golden feature because uh, mechanic is a super high cardinality, kind of pretty messy column in the data set. Um, there's a lot of unique, uh, different types of mechanics uh, to, to board games, apparently. Um, and so it'll either take a lot of wrangling or a lot of work to use that in a model. And on top of that, we want to use uh, see them use one of the category features. Um, and so category is a, um, uh, like, a, like the type of kind of like maybe like a tag or something on, on the board game, the type of board game. And uh, apparently there's some board games uh, in uh, this data set that have up to 12, uh, 12 different categories. So uh, we want to see for the second golden feature with 10 points uh, that they use both mechanic and category in a model. So something that's most important to maybe chat is, again, we've talked about 35 points goes to the best model. Me and Meg have 30 points total to distribute amongst the four contestants for data visualization. There's 15 points uh, for golden features if uh, the contestants find it. But perhaps the most important part for you, chat, is the chat vote. This season, there's 20 points to be given for the person you believe is doing the best. So at the end of the night, at 11 p.m., there'll be a vote. And you'll have five minutes to vote in a poll who you think should be awarded 20 points. And uh, that can really tip the scales one way or the other. Of course, 20 out of 100 doesn't sound like much, but when all these other points might be distributed or maybe not even uh, earned, uh, it could really tip the scales in favor of, of, uh, of the contestant. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Just, uh, <laughs> I see uh, Josiah's dad being uh, uh, cheering his son on here, uh, assuming this is actually his dad. Cool. If this is not uh, wrecked. So... Sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get, get wrecked. <laughs> I'd um, also like to say hi to my dad if he's lurking in chat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now we are on Kenzie's screen. Uh, Kanzi is uh, uh, documenting along the way, which is pretty uh, good for him. We'll see if uh, documentation is truly something that uh, he'll spend a lot of time on. Two hours really flies by fast. It does, it does. Let's tech just on. Kind of just to see if we're seeing any data visualizations yet. Nothing super early yet for many of the contestants. Here's uh, apparently a early fan favorite in chat, Josiah. Josiah is still... Uh, not just loading in data, but now we're munging data and also uh, typing notes similar to what Kenzie was doing. Um, let's take a look at our uh, unicorn here, <laughs> um, Adrian, who is yet again uh, coding in both a Jupyter Notebook and doing uh, stuff in a RStudio session. This is absolutely irregular. I have never seen this in Slice. I know people do favor RStudio perhaps for data visualization and uh, and Python for perhaps modeling and other things, but uh, I don't exactly know what I'm going to be seeing here today from Adrian. I am extremely excited to see how he pulls this one off. Yeah, I'm I'm super interested. I mean, I've I've definitely used Python and you know Jupyter Notebooks, Colab, Kaggle. Um, and, you know, obviously I'm an R user, you know, um, native R user. Uh, 
Um, and, you know, so I've used both, but simultaneously, that's a, that's a sliced first. So very cool to see. Um, but yeah, also interested to see how that plays out in practice. Yeah, pretty wild. I just want to catch up on subs. Uh, Razzle, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Oh, man, Mike Chang. Haven't seen you around got a, a bit, dude. We got some data visualizations. I think I'm looking oh. at Justia right now. Um, so oh. he's starting to look at some distributions. And I see, ooh, and ooh. I see from Kanzi. Adrian. Yeah, I yes. see Kanzi, who actually just also plotted a histogram. Uh, Josiah, hey. you're right. Uh, Josiah also plotted something. So uh, the winner is, uh, yes, there was data visualization before 9.15. So if you made predictions with channel points, uh you're you're uh you're cashing in right now stop the count <laughs> <laughs> also hey that. 200 is a uh a new record in this channel thanks for everyone who came early and thanks for everyone supporting me and meg and uh sliced and your four contestants here so thank you uh, uh again real big shout out to uh, our studio our studio uh a sponsor uh, for a slice of the season and also uh, another shout out to streamlit thank you streamlit for your contributions as well you know nick this is where i have to thank streamlit specifically for hopefully making the stream lit right <laughs> uh, <laughs> i used that joke on you yesterday to much more success than i did just now <laughs> I'll work on my execution. <laughs> they're going to be their sponsors chat, for the chat, whole season. Chat, they're going to be. <laughs> chat is. Chat. Uh, yeah. Chat. Chat. Uh, I feel like that was a polarizing. <laughs> that was a polarizing uh, <laughs> moment here. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it up. Thanks for everyone in chat, by the way. Uh, uh, Michael, thanks for the. Thanks for the prime. Thanks for the prime razzle. Uh, uh, Michael. Mike JS. Thanks for the prime. Uh, Knit dip. Thank you for the prime. Um, and Data Dude, thanks for the three months, man. I appreciate all those subs. And again, thanks for everyone coming early and chatting and uh, hyping this up. So uh, uh, I'm excited to see what's going to go on tonight. Let's take a look over at um, Scott, who uh, he is already jumping in to an XG Boost regressor model. Um, right. This is... This is pretty crazy, in my opinion, simply because uh, what what features is he throwing into this? He's already predicted. Wow, damn. Um, yeah, I know this is like some advice that we give our contestants is, you know, hey, might be a good idea to try to get something end to end, kind of like we're on, so you've got a little bit of confidence that you'll be able to submit something at the end. Um, but this might be like a sliced, like, you know, um, record for earliest. Uh. Yeah, uh, 10 minutes in, and he's already throwing things into the modeling machine here. And uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, what those features are, I have no clue. But I suppose let's see if uh, maybe his strategy is, you know, kitchen sink approach, anything mm -hmm. that he can turn into something numeric or, or uh, you know, categorical of some sort, uh, just throw a kitchen sink throw the kitchen sink of features into the model, see what you get, and at the very least, your predictions, maybe maybe that's what, uh, maybe your early predictions here is what saves you if you can't have a more complex or accurate model by the end of the night. That's right. I mean, it'll certainly give me a little bit of like reassurance, you know, like what we talk about is like the, you know, disaster nightmare scenario is that, you know, they don't submit anything, so um, if you get something, I'm you know I'm happy. Uh, it puts a little, me a little bit at ease. I see Kenzie um, has sort of an opposite approach here. He's doing a correlation between features. He has oh, he has this uh, correlation heat map going from uh, this is a Seaborn package. Uh, so uh, he <laughs> uh, <laughs> he already is saying uh, what are these time variables. Uh, the time variables, of course, I believe are the, the links of time of the game, right, Meg? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yep. I believe that is correct. <laughs> um, of course, we can't tell our contestants that, you know, they've got to figure it out for themselves. Um, 
But I love that we have a little sneak into their, into what's going inside of their brains right now. Down comments, it's pretty great. <laughs> um, one uh, one reminder for for chat is not only can you check out the data, the exclamation point data on Kaggle, you can also see a live leaderboard. Um, and we actually, maybe this is someone in chat, have our first submission uh, to Sliced. So one kind of fun thing will be to see if you know someone in chat following along, in fact, beats our contestants. Um, so congrats uh, to our first entry to the leaderboard we, we have. Do we really yeah. have? Uh, yeah, we've got Data Lab three five one. Yeah. Wow. Hold on. Yeah. That's uh. Me... These could be future sliced participants right here. True. If you are interested in slice, there is a site. Uh, I believe. Oh God. I hope exclamation sliced works. Uh, but if it doesn't, I'll update it in a second. Uh, while y'all are doing that, I'm checking to see if the this share screen works um oh yeah yeah so while nick is doing that you can check out our website um if you are interested in you know a future submission we do have a rolling interest form on the site um so you know check that out if this intrigued you of course we have you know 11 weeks after after this week of of sliced um yeah, there we go. Wow, Data Lab actually four minutes ago, Data Lab actually threw in threw threw their hat into the ring here. Wow, that's uh, it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty um, incredible. Maybe that should be a fun prediction to see how many um, chat participants we get on the leaderboard uh, <laughs> by a certain point. Chat saying um, maybe a troll prediction. <laughs> Might be a troll prediction, but they beat the they beat my benchmark of uh, I think it was mean geek rating is what I I made the benchmark. Um, uh, let's take right. a look over at Ooh. Adrian's screen. Or do you got, you got something? Is, You're looking at uh, this is, screen. Uh, who are we looking at here on um, uh, on stream? We're Scott. looking at Scott. Who uh, I was just gonna say I like to see the the plan. Uh, that's always great. Uh, recommend having a plan. So uh, <laughs> good to see that up front. Let's take a look at Josiah. Uh, Josiah uh, has also created some sort of uh, correlation here between all these categories. Uh, and uh, as he's saying in his notes here, uh, um, this is where the magic begins, baby. So let's see if this does mean he's diving into. Perhaps we'll see tidy models hey. here. Perhaps we'll we'll see something else. Maybe we see some like, what was that, Meg? I think this might be a golden feature, if I'm not mistaken. He's looking at min-max time by game category. Um, um, and categorical plot with category was a five-point oh yeah, golden feature. You're right. Categorical yeah. plots with category. So he is using game category inside of a plot already. I was not expecting someone to get that golden feature at all, to be honest. I figure most mm -hmm. people avoid doing categorical plots when they have to predict on something that's a, a regressor variable. Um, Much less within the first 15 minutes. Way to go, Josiah. Wow. So Josiah. I hope, I hope Josiah's dad is still in chat to see this moment. This is great. <laughs> all of his dads are in chat. All of his dads are in chat. And uh, we, are, we are all Josiah's dad. Yeah. And uh, they are all very proud. Many dad. <laughs> there's a strong dad five going on in chat. So, <laughs> so five points already to Josiah, uh, who has uh, discovered a golden feature. Now let's go over to Adrian, and uh, Adrian again. Uh, we're gonna see all sorts of different screens from Adrian. We've we've seen sort of a split screen, his Jupiter notebook being half the screen, and his R Studio session being like the other half. Now we're seeing the Jupiter notebook kind of uh, smaller in the left, and he's more focused on the R Studio on the right. I have absolutely no, like at first, Meg. I thought mm -hmm. Adrian was gonna do something like. Um, do all like the data munging and stuff in Python, and he's just gonna use what? like R Studio stuff for for ggplot. But this is like data munging stuff through dplyr, and then is he gonna export this and then run modeling over in Python? Yeah, I was wondering, am I winning? <laughs> not not yet, Adrian. Um... <laughs> I mean, I that's I I 
am obviously biased as an R user, but I would I would personally prefer to do data munging and dplyr. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I'm 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 not surprised, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> I I see. Uh, and he's he's plugging it into in a linear model right now too. You know, I think the I think the funniest thing about Adrian's style is that not only is it like absolutely triggering chat that he's doing this but it's like making chat absolutely explode in terms of the packages he's using so, <laughs> this is truly just the <laughs> absolutely like the most uh, unconventional way and you know perhaps this is the secret sauce right i mean we are gonna find out right that's the thing we do find out at the end <laughs> Oh my goodness. So that's Adrian. Yeah. Let's take another look. I at also it. do love the vibe of like, yeah, seeing his desktop background. It's very, it's kind of relaxing. Kenzie here is uh, breaking up those feature columns and he absolutely will, uh, you know, Kenzie is doing something that not many, uh, not many in Python I've seen in Slice do, and that's uh, set up functions for everything. Um, now, mind you, lots of hard coding in these functions. Uh, obviously not the, not the, the greatest thing you want to do in functions, but if it works in your mind and in two hours, it's going to get you to, uh, to sliced victory, uh, do what you got to do. Um, I see a ton of you in chat that I wasn't able, able to shout out, uh, literally like so many people are in here that I know, uh, as so many different, uh, uh, slice contestants just watching. Uh, I can't shout all of you out, and uh, I I wish I could. You know, I love all of you. Thanks for the freaking gifted, Kayo. That's uh, absolutely incredible. And 26 months from Crystal Boozy Brain. Thank you. Wow. Uh, just a random aside. If you don't want to get hit by random ads that may play through the next two hours... Uh, using uh, subscription is a good way to avoid those. You see no ads on this channel if you subscribe. If you have Twitch Prime, you can link your Twitch Prime account to your... Or if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon account to your Twitch account and subscribe with the quote-unquote free... Well, it's not free, but uh, included in your Amazon Prime subscription, uh, you have uh, one uh, Twitch Prime. Prime subscription you can use. And you can use that here, and you get no ads. Uh, and if those don't work for you, it's $5 for the month. Thanks Nick, for the I subs, subscribed I using I subscribed using my Twitch Prime subscription thing. Oh. Highly yeah. recommend. <laughs> well, thank, well, thank you, okay. Meg. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we do another contestant intro video? Yeah, uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at Kenzie. Uh, so Kenzie right now, uh, since we were on him, uh, I not just a Joe Ingalls stand, but uh, let's hear it from Kenzie himself. Uh, what else he gets into? I'm Kenzie. I started a company called Sideline HD. Most of the time, I am writing code. Full stack, just back end, uh, front end, occasionally mess with some data. Before this, I graduated college from UC Berkeley. And currently, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, but looking to be elsewhere soon. I think you should root for me if you like sports. I'm someone who has played with almost exclusively sports data. So uh, if I win, it's a proof that sports are a great playground for learning data science skills in a similar vein that's kind of why i'm an underdog i have a lack of uh, breadth of experience with uh, different sorts of data coding live is a uh, pretty daunting to me I, I never really liked uh like live in live coding interviews so i I don't, I don't like to lose but uh at the same time this format is something that's uh, i've uh, not done great with in the past so uh so what do we got on kanzi here meg yeah, I can tell you a little bit more about Kanzi. Um, so like he says here, um, he likes to ride his bike and run sometimes. Um, so I guess he bikes always and just runs sometimes. Uh, he's a mediocre chess player, which, um, you know, I also vibe with being a mediocre uh, chess player. 
um, which he uses to distract from work, which is also true for me. Um, he's a big Michigan sports fan. He grew up in Ann Arbor, um, beautiful Ann Arbor. Uh, he likes to follow the NBA um, outside of data science, which is, he admits, is not really far outside of data science. He likes to bet on sports. Not too far out of data science because he does so uh, with models. Um, so that is kind of data science after all. Um, he says that he's a recent convert from Sublime to VS Code. Um, love VS Code, totally understandable. Um, so he uses a Jupyter Notebook instead of VS Code. I don't know that that's what we're seeing here today. It looks like we're seeing Colab today. Um, he likes throwing data. He scrapes into a Postgres uh, database. And um, uh, let's see, what else does he like? He, as I said before, he always reaches for Cat Boost first, which I think is what we saw. Uh, we're seeing in his code right now. Um, and he likes Cat Boost because um, its hyperparameters are so good. Um, can we get Cat Boost uh, to sponsor Sliced? I don't know. Cats in um, chat. <laughs> Spam cats in chat. Oh my god, That's a right. hype train. This is incredible. <laughs> um, I don't even know what a hype train is, but that sounds um, awesome. So <laughs> Cats cool. in chat. See, there we go. Yeah, cat, cat there we train. go. Cats in chat. Yeah. Thanks for the subs, uh, y'all. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, uh, we, uh, a wizard is never late. Thanks for the sub. And Coker, uh, thanks for the sub, y'all. Um, he also likes to scrape data more than he likes to build models with it. So maybe for future episodes or future seasons, we could ask him to be a sliced intern to help us with data prep. Um, but for now, he's a contestant and he is competing. So there you go. That's Kanzi. Yeah, not just a Joe Ingalls stan, y'all. I know he was really rooting for Joe Ingalls' six-man, uh, and uh, unfortunately, he didn't get what he wanted. But uh, maybe he'll walk away tonight with uh, something else that uh, he wants, and that is a uh, sliced win tonight. A sliced right. win tonight. Uh, just a... Just a uh, <laughs> he walks away with true, true love. Yeah. Thanks, Ethan. Um, just a, uh, you know, 10,000 foot view of the rest of the season. Uh, each night for the next uh, eight weeks, we have four different contestants, uh, and they compete to earn points. Now, the points they get tonight, although they, uh, although the person with the most points tonight wins, they keep those points, and uh, they'll be playing another event of Slice in the next in the next eight weeks. Now, the four contestants who have the most points over the next eight weeks will make it to the playoffs. And then another four contestants uh, selected by both uh, the automatic qualifiers, the top four, and also chat, another four, the bottom four, will also make it to the playoffs. And we'll have uh, eight person playoffs over the course of the last four weeks. So we have eight weeks of regular season, four weeks of playoffs, and I hope everyone in chat tonight will be there for all of it. So again, thanks for everyone coming out this first night, and uh, still a lot of slice to go. Yeah. Um, so uh, I was just checking out our leaderboard on Kaggle, and we've got a few new entries, including one of our contestants. So Scott has made a submission. So we saw him really early on uh, modeling. Uh, looked like he was doing some kind of like kitchen sink stuff. So uh, we've got Scott on the leaderboard. But at number one, we have a Kaggle Grandmaster, Rob Mulla. Um, team name <laughs> Sliced Bread is uh, number one on the leaderboard. So um, yeah, we've got three entries so far. One from our uh, tonight, one of our contestants tonight, Scott. And we see Scott is already diving into some feature importance through SHAP. He's done a feature importance plot for those who were just watching. Um, he uh, He's now moving into exploring even more features to improve his model. So Scott does have, uh, you can see at the top there in his tabs, uh, prediction into Kaggle already, uh, looking to improve his model. He's already done some work in data visualization. Uh, so exciting to see that Scott is... Uh, moseying along here in a relatively, uh, you know, not your linear fashion that we saw in the pilot season. A lot of people would start out with uh, exploratory mm -hmm. data analysis that leads to some exploratory data visualization of of some sort. 
some sort of a uh, correlation of features then leads into modeling and then people would spend the next you know however long on modeling in this case we've seen a lot of modeling already and we're already diving into improving that initial model that scott put out yeah i think we're yeah it looks like we're really off to a great start um you know one of the ways that our contestants could have you know rehearsed or practiced is by watching you know, uh, episodes of our pilot season. So, you know, I wonder how much of this is sort of looking at, you know, what was successful, not successful previous episodes. And, um, you know, they do have the benefit of, um, you know, learning from that and kind of applying that to their approach tonight. Let's take a look at uh, Adrian again. Uh, people are shouting at, <laughs> shouting out um, uh, Adrian's screen. And again, uh, just absolute bias from me. I am most interested in seeing what is going to go on on this screen the most tonight. Um, yeah, the screen, multiple windows, multiple applications. Uh, there could be a lot going on. Yeah, this is uh, pretty incredible. I saw someone in chat, I saw Ross in chat uh, ask if this was an ultra wide monitor. It has to be because it's not fitting on my pretty wide monitor. So it must be wider than mine. Um, thanks for the three months, Greg, Stats in the Wild. And thanks for the 100 bits from Kayo, man. Appreciate that. Is that hype train, train still going? Oh my goodness, we're at level two. Get it going, y'all. Keep this hype train alive. Um, Adrian, uh, working through here, uh, you know, out of everyone so far, it looks like Adrian is, uh, seemingly slow to the game in both data visualization and modeling so uh, it'll be mm. interesting it'll be interesting to see how he's going to play catch up here 30 minutes gone uh, another uh, hour and a half to go before the end of sliced uh, meg are yeah. we are we looking at another prediction soon um yeah i think we we ought to be you know our next prediction prediction was supposed to be we'll we see someone start to train a model before 9 30 but you know we already hit that i think before 9 15. Um, so our next prediction is going to be, uh, will we see a session or kernel crash? Um, let's go before 9.45 uh, p.m. Eastern. Um, so let me fire up a prediction uh, command here and get that started. I have to choose an outcome. We did see a data visualization before 9.15. Uh, so let's complete that. Sorry. Let's Again, I appreciate I appreciate everyone in chat hanging out. Uh, I do see a ton of your names. I wish I could grab. I wish I could shout all of you out. Uh, I see all these regulars come through. Thanks for coming up and supporting episode one, y'all. Right. So let's kick this off. Will there be a session or kernel crash before nine forty-five p.m. Eastern? Uh, that's in fifteen minutes. For those who are in different time zones. All right, let's kick it off. Um, so if we remember from the pilot pilot season, we uh, I think our bombs uh, were kind of like a meme of the pilot. Uh, sorry, Tony, uh, for the uh, 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 the experience you had with I believe it was Tony who had uh, a lot of our bombs in his in his uh, our studio session. Um, so are we going to see something similar today in the next fifteen minutes as you know our contestants you know start to train models and really get things underway? Yeah, Josiah here uh, is looking like he's trying to uh, figure out what was happening in this model train. Um, this is this this looks like he's uh, kind of stuck, not too sure what he's trying to de debug here, uh, but uh, we'll see if he could get through this. At least it, uh, from what it seemed before, I believe he already had some some basic model. So now I think he is just creating more features uh, to to feed his model. That's right. That's right. Uh, let's take yeah. It. Go for it, Meg. I was just gonna say is you know we start to look at you know the features that our contestants are building. Um, just a reminder that we'll want to watch out for one of our golden features tonight, um, which is uh, you know we want to see our contestants use both mechanic and category, which are um, parts of the data set tonight uh, as features in a model. 
Um, so mechanic being a very high cardinality um, factor variable. And then category being um, kind of like the tags on a board game, of which there can be up to 12 tags. Um, so we want to see them use uh, both of these uh, features in a model. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. That's worth 10 points. We see uh, our contestants use uh, or hit that golden feature. Back here on Adrian's screen, I do see a correlation of fixed effects. So he has a fixed effects model going on here. It looks like he's finally getting a linear model going. Uh, so we will see at the very least a linear prediction from uh, the man in both R and Python tonight, Adrian. Um, let's go over to Scott. Scott looks like he's plotting some, uh, what is this, R ra year and ratings? Yes. Or vote? What is that? What is, what is this? that? <laughs> Just count? Yeah. yeah. What, what it, what it, yeah, I guess it is year. I guess like game release, right? I think it's game release. And yeah. and we are seeing him go to uh, some, some doc here, uh, seeing how to do something again. Uh, just because it's sliced doesn't mean all the folks who are going to be on this are, you know, Galaxy Brain knows every single package they ever touch. They're just like any data scientist, data analyst, data person. They Google stuff. They stack overflow. They are literally just like you, except they have uh, two hours to do something extremely stressful in front of 204 viewers tonight right now. So appreciate all 204 of you hanging out in chat and watching Sliced. Um, Scott here, uh, we'll see. So from what it seems to me in his notebook, version two, meaning like he's already committed up one set of predictions. Yep. This is most likely another set of predictions given uh, new features, yep. um, whether you want to call them derived or whether you want to call them feature engineered uh yep. he is creating something that wasn't there before yep one thing i'm excited i'm seeing i think on josiah's um screen right now is it looks like he's uh loading the tidy text library um so one of the things we didn't want to do is do a kind of like pure nlp data set um a little bit challenging when you get sort of into more kind of like niche domains but there is, you know, some NLP to be done on this data set, that said. Um, and so it looks like uh, we've got Josiah uh, beginning to just dabble with tidy text here. So I'm excited to see if anything um, fruitful comes from this. Um, you know, so. uh, since we haven't yet, let's take a listen to Josiah and, uh, you know, in his own words, how he describes himself. I'm Josiah. Uh, I work at our studio on our customer success team. I can work with all of our public sector customers. So that means anyone in the government, anywhere in the world. I studied sociology as an undergrad at Plymouth State University. Um, and then I also went to Northeastern University where I studied urban informatics as a master's student. Focuses on using uh, quote unquote big data in the urban administration and kind of city government. So my focus has always kind of been in how can we use data to help social issues. People should root for me because I am the absolute underdog here. People are much better than me at this. They spend a lot of time doing this every day. I don't. Um, I spend my time doing software development and I like to make packages, focusing on like extracting data sources and, and kind of aggregating things. I don't spend my time manipulating the data sets and um, doing any sort of modeling. Um, and I haven't done any machine learning in, in like a couple of years. So um, I saw this as an opportunity to really like get myself out of my comfort zone, learn new packages, and <laughs> just really challenge myself. Let's hear uh, more about Josiah Mag. Cool. Yeah, a little. I, I shared a little bit about Josiah at the start about you know how he's an espresso, not expresso, <laughs> nerd. Um, apparently he's annoyingly particular about it. Um, but you know, uh, you know, one way that sort of like manifests in the way that he lives his life is 
he uses um, that love for espresso um, in, he, in his travels. So he travels by coffee shop hopping, um, which me, to me sounds like a fantastic idea. I love that. Um, and, you know, I, I hope he can look forward to some coffee, hop, coffee shop hopping soon. Um, he's also really interested in the use of R in uh, the public sector and nonprofit space. Um, as well as the use of R and data science more generally in progressive electoral politics. So, yeah, that's just a little bit more about Josiah. And I really need to ask him what he is um, eating in that photo he it, shared. It's going to look like spaghetti or something. but Yeah, I feel I like know. he himself, uh, perhaps uh, in his own way, a spaghetti monster. Yes. <laughs> Some kind of noodles, yes. Um <laughs> It's like he's working with the mechanic um, field here, mechanic variable, which is our super high cardinality. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, oh, this is kind of the output of some of the tidy text stuff that he's doing. Let's talk a little about that mechanic field. Like, uh, I know some people who are looking in the data, they see that we broke out uh, the category field, but we didn't do that for the mechanic field. Uh, so let's just talk a little about why we did it and, and, uh, and, what people might be trying to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the kind of original data set from boardgamegeek.com, the category field was kind of like, a, you know, comma delimited single single field. Um, however, uh, each board game, I think, had a maximum of 12 categories and often, you know, has three or four. Um, whereas the mechanic, apparently there's just, you know, infinite sort of game mechanics um possible um so if we're gonna split something out uh split that out you know comma delimited it's gonna be you know they're gonna have a really wide data set that they're working with um so yeah i think using something like tidy text or you know nlp kind of libraries is an interesting way to kind of wrangle all this data but we're certainly leaving some of the data wrangling up to our contestants here um so we handled that in the case of the category field um, but left mechanic a little bit messier. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes for them. Let's go over to Adrian's screen. Uh, again, Adrian kind of coming up uh, slow with data, visualization, with data visualization. Looks like he's finally getting around to doing some stuff in ggplot. Uh, and also a little slow when it comes to uh, the modeling. We already see Scott with a submission up there. And we see both Kanzi and uh, Josiah not too far behind in terms of modeling um, predictions. So uh, hopefully the man who's dabbling in both languages right now will be able to, to bring, bring himself back in terms of uh, catching up to the competition in data visualization. Let's take a look at Kanzi, who we haven't checked in on in a while. Kanzi has uh, uh, been around this screen for a bit now. Um, it looks like he's trying to get rid of uh, any any imperfections in the data. So may, uh, either uh, he's already pretty comfortable with what he's doing, and uh, he knows uh, you know his his modeling technique and approach is is pretty strong, or it's the absolute opposite side, and he has no idea why this model is just ruining him right now. So. Uh, Maybe we stay on this screen for a bit and uh, see what's happening on Kanzi's screen. Have we seen a have we seen a crash yet? I have not. And Meg is uh, inspecting with a hawk's eye, uh, just uh, absolutely uh, monitoring all contestants. So no crashes yet, it seems. Nope, not yet. Still got four minutes, but we'll we'll see. Um, you know, when you are, before. when you are using things like, you know, gradient boosting, uh, neural net kind of stuff, uh, and you have a lot of data, you may see, uh, you know, crashes here and there simply because, uh, a model and the feature space that you're trying to model over starts blowing up the space in RAM. And then, uh, uh, next thing you know, your sessions crashed and you've saved none of your, you know, intermediate steps. And now you got to run a notebook that takes you a million years. Uh, luckily, the data set in this case is uh, no more than uh, 5,000 rows. Right. Uh, but depending on how the contestants have munged the data, 
depending on their merging, depending on, uh, again, Meg's uh, mentioned high cardinality in one of the uh, columns, uh, we might see uh, a crash here or there, but more than likely a crash is going to happen if uh, you do some improper merge and it blows up your, your data frame and takes up all your RAM. Uh, the evaluation metric is RMSE, so they're trying to predict the board game rating of a given board game uh, uh, given all of these different features of a board game. So the category it's in, the type of mechanics that uh, the game has, the, the people who made the game, how long the game lasts, the minimum age of the game, uh, the, or the year that the game came out, all these features may provide some signal to... Uh, being able to predict whether a game's going to be good or or decent or bad. Right. Improper um, merge is a good band name. <laughs> Thanks, Chelsea. <laughs> like a good band name. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to also welcome a couple more entries to our leaderboard. Um, really exciting to see all of the audience participation. Reminder, you can check out the data set. You can check out the live leaderboard um, by using the exclamation point data command. Um, but we've got a couple new entries from C. Torres and Jin. Um, so welcome. But our I believe our only contestant so far on the leaderboard is still Scott. Um, everybody else says, you know, an hour and about 45 minutes remaining uh, to see their names on our leaderboard. And uh, C. Torres uh, is someone in chat. He is one of the regulars in here. Uh, I see cool. him in this chat all the time. Uh, so that's really cool to see uh, a regular throw something up there. Uh, awesome. I love that. Yeah, welcome back, C. Mm -hmm. Thors. And welcome back, everyone. Appreciate y'all being in here. Uh, shout outs. Thanks for the bits, uh, Ethan. And uh, thanks for the sub, Ken G, my dude. Appreciate that. Uh, and uh, thanks for the bits, Kayo, again, as well. Awesome. Let's see. Looks like we've got. Um, I believe Adrian is looking. Looks like he's kind of inspecting the output of his uh, Elmer. Um, were people calling me out for how I pronounced that? That's how I've always pronounced it. Elmer's glue. <laughs> Elmer's glue. Elmer Fudd. <laughs> are, you, are you in? Are you inspecting chat to see if they're? <laughs> yes. Uh, I, think was, I think it was earlier. I think it was earlier. Yeah. All right. All right. People do say. Elmer. <laughs> um and again big shout out to our sponsors thank you our studio for your support this season and also thank you streamlit for your support this season i appreciate uh, both of y'all uh, thank help, you helping us do this on a little bigger scale how's everyone liking the uh the you know the facelift here how's everyone liking the the new production value that we've uh included here in slice everyone enjoying it was this a was this a pog moment pog moment is this a pog moment <laughs> sleeves equals bad okay bad. Yep. <laughs> sleeves, sleeves equals bad meet i mean come on these are cool sleeves i got on i'm keeping mine <laughs> Ross says it's good. Data, uh, Dacher, Dacher Inc. Who's been in my chat before. Welcome back. Says into it. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Kayo, uh, facelift good. Refrigerator Elmer bad. Uh, we'll get around to Adrian in a bit, y'all. Um, thanks, Ethan, and I appreciate it. Uh, NS Champs, who we'll be seeing. Is, is Are you next week, dude? I think you're next week. Are you at are you at Elmer? We wanna we wanna uh, check out can or seeing a oh wait are we on oh we are this is Adrian's screen yes yes this is Adrian oh this that is we're checking out it's like yep um yeah reminder you can check out the whole uh, sliced summer schedule um summer for our northern hemisphere friends um on our website um, and is that at the exclamation point sliced if it's not exclamation, if it's not exclamation sliced uh every 20 minutes there's an automatic got spam. it okay got it okay 
Oh, uh, looks like people say L-M-E-R. All right. Well, um, I'm going to try to make Elmer happen. You know, this happened oh, to me. Oh, Lemur. I, I saw that, you know, this happened with me before, uh, and I see Ben Baldwin in chat. So I'm just going to tell you all a really quick story about C-P-O-E for all of you coming in here from uh, uh, American Football Analytics Twitter. Uh, I pronounce that CPO, completion percentage over expected. And I started saying CPO live. And I remember, I don't think it was Ben, but it was Seth Walder who came in and he said, you saying CPO is blowing my mind right now. So it is not CPO. It is, it's CPO. We call it called CPO, right? That it literally is the letter C P O E. Okay. Ooh, I have been on somebody making a submission at the moment. Who I am have, I looking at right now? I have Adrian. been on unhinged rants about pronunciation. Like Matt Plot Lib, Matt Plot Lib. Yes. <laughs> you y'all are focused on the wrong side of this word. It's matrices laboratory. <laughs> matrices. Mate. Mate lab. Mate plot lib. Mate plot lib. Right? Okay. I don't know if we should we get a, in a fight on stream. I don't know if I don't have it. Let's, let's go over to Scott's notebook, who may or may not be using mate plot lib. Um, so it seems like Scott is trying to figure out which of the categorical columns he wants to keep. And this was something me and Meg were talking about, uh, when we were, uh, looking over this data set. Uh, I thought perhaps, uh, you might only need like three of the categories and perhaps all the other ones that come after that mm -hmm. you might not need, but we have all the way out to like 12 different categories. Yep. So, oh, uh, I think Scott is doing something that I just did in my mind when we were looking at the data set. Perhaps there's a minimum threshold of categories you need and the rest are uh, somewhat noise. What do you yeah. think? What do you think, Meg? Yeah, I think that's that's probably right. I mean, I, I, I you know, got to admit, I didn't do extensive EDA on this data set, but I'd imagine there's, you know, there's got to be some really obscure categories in there. Um, just super low frequency stuff. Um, I'll I'll just uh, go on record to say that after I went on a uh, matplotlib mateplotlib rant, we lost uh, fifteen people immediately. So. Damn, <laughs> damn! All right, we're looking at one of my favorite websites, Stack Overflow. <laughs> Meg, Maybe we can get Stack Overflow to sponsor. I have some friends there. I was gonna say, Meg, uh, you were at Stack Overflow before, right? Yeah, I was a, a product manager for their public Q&A site for a year uh, before rejoining uh, Google slash Kaggle, where I'm at now. You know, one thing that we didn't do is like introduce ourselves. <laughs> no, we didn't. Is it too late? <laughs> no, I, I think I think now is a better time than ever. Ten minutes before halftime here. So uh, I'm Nick Wan. This is my channel. Uh, but uh, I am also a data scientist. I'm a manager of data science over at KFC. Literally the fried chicken place. Yes, they do data science there. Uh, before that, I was a data scientist at the Cincinnati Reds. Before that, I got my PhD in neuroscience. Uh, Meg? Cool. Yeah, I'm Meg Rizdahl. This is not my channel, but I borrow it on Tuesdays with Nick for Sliced, where I'm co-host. Um, I'm a product uh, product lead at Kaggle, um, which, you know, is featured on our show, um, no bias, no bias. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, that's me. I am not a working data scientist, but I have been a data scientist in a previous life. Um, I dropped out of a PhD, uh, but I do have a couple of master's degrees in linguistics. So that's why I get excited about tidy text. Um, they're asking if you stream Meg. <laughs> I have been known to stream, but um, I have not recently, no. Uh, I suspect, you know, part of the inspiration for the couple of streams that I've done on Twitch uh, was definitely uh, the pilot season of Sliced, though. Um, so, you know, if I get more nudging from, from chat, I could be 
coerced perhaps to stream again. Uh, someone asked what um, we're looking for here. Uh, we are looking for geek rating. So the object is to predict what each board game in the holdout set is rated. Um, so they have any any features and modeling techniques at their disposal in order to predict the geek rating. Uh, and we will know at the end whether or not their rate or whose rating or whose modeling was best. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we're also, uh, minimizing, uh, RMSC in this case, or, or, uh, the thing we're trying to, to find is lowest RMSC. Chat, how you doing? Everyone, everyone having a good time? Everyone enjoying Sliced? You know, I haven't seen the emote spam in a bit, so maybe I'm asking for it at this point. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Does Meg ever stream her uh, her getting cooked in Among Us? Says uh, Kayo in chat. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but I feel like it's kind of rude. Um, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Kayo, don't be rude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I I think me getting cooked on. On Among Us has been streamed, Nick, on your stream. <laughs> That's true. Um, although it's much more embarrassing for you when you're streaming yourself getting cooked as imposter. Yeah, uh, which has happened pretty often at happened. this point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are on Adrian's screen, y'all. Adrian is uh, using Elmer, Lemur, L-M-E-R. Uh, how, how well... How else have people pronounced it tonight? Marriott. Marriott. The rioting. That's the riot call. Oh, the riot. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Has Adrian submitted anything yet? No, but uh, they're not. Uh, submission isn't necessarily a, a metric mm -hmm. of how far you are. Uh, yeah. As Ooh. NS Champs uh, showed, you can have a literal last minute submission and win the modeling contest. That's right. But we do have two more of our contestants are on the leaderboard. I just checked. Um, we have, I believe Josiah is uh, number four, just behind Scott, who's at number three on the leaderboard. And Kanzi is uh, in sixth place uh, behind both Scott and Josiah. Um, and we have up to eight people who've made submissions total. So. Our chat uh, participants are outnumbering um, still our, well, yeah, naturally. They're, yeah, so they've officially and are going to be outnumbering our um, our contestants. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, thanks everybody who's following along. You know, I, uh, I'll i say one thing uh, as we're on uh, Josiah's screen right now. Um, and I do see through his features, he did feature engineer uh, uh, four features here. He has four principal components uh, that he's using in his modeling. Um, and it looks like he's trying to investigate the, the fidelity or the validity of these components. Uh, but uh, I do want to say in chat, thank you for all those regulars and Twitch folk uh, gently teaching the new Twitch people, people who have just come for Slice, people who have never been on Twitch before, uh, teaching them all about uh, the the environment here and the the Twitch culture, as it were. So, yes. uh, thanks, y'all. Uh, My dad will be here. So yeah, your, your dad, yeah. your dad is yeah, is hanging out. <laughs> um, yeah, Twitch isn't the scary uh, uh, video game crazy place as it were, perhaps uh, five or, or so years ago. Uh, there's a lot of live coding that goes on, not just data science, but a ton of game development, a ton of software development, a ton of uh, backend development, uh, all sorts of, like, there's DevOps streams now, there's straight up pure math streams now, so there's a ton in the science and technology community. Uh, I do highly recommend not just following along here at Sliced, but if you're interested in seeing people do their thing or co-working streams or whatever you want, uh, which is a nice place to be right now if you are in the data scene. 
Thanks for these bits, Ethan and Afton. Wow, incredible. Like we've got Adrian speaking to us through a notepad at the moment on his desktop. I'm kind oh. of curious to read what he's up. Oh, and we've got some memes that he's pulling up. Oh, um, what has um, he got going on? How many Chris Sims fans do we have? Lol. LOL. JK. <laughs> Chris Sims fans in chat. Chris Sims fans in chat. <laughs> Any Chris Simmers? Any Chris Simmers? <laughs> oh, it looks like it looks like Kansi is. Oh, or sorry, it looks like Adrian's going back for more here. Playing, Playing this loop. He he. What? So he, is he modeling right now? What's going on? Is he training a model for the next hour? He is. Did he really set it and forget it? Is that what he's doing? He could spend this time uh, showing us his data visualization skills. Um, oh my goodness! Yeah. This is a very, very just... brazen uh, uh, attempt here. If this is what he's doing, it seems like everything has been mostly R. Yep. I made this random. I made this a random effect. <laughs> I love the all caps. Very Nick Wan. <laughs> this is definitely a Nick Wan vibe. Yeah. Okay, he's showing us, uh, you know, some of his validation plotting here. Have we seen anybody else use category uh, in a in a category plot? You know, I'd have to double check on Josiah, but. Those principal components might be uh, Ooh, mechanic plus category. So I would maybe dive in to see if that is the case. This was Josiah, yeah. These data visual... Are, so I'm just taking a look at these data visualizations while you're doing that. And, um, you know, last last season when data visualization came through, um, a lot of it was like this. A lot of it was base plots uh, and and mostly related to the modeling. Um, so, so I'm interested more so in things like, uh, what Josiah was doing, ex uh, getting a little more, you know, into the data and, and doing things that might not necessarily be completely related to the modeling. Like right. the, the data right. itself, uh, has so much more to say than just, uh, whatever your predictions might be. Yeah, and you know, modeling is really all or nothing. If you don't win the modeling, you're not going to get any of those 35 points. Um, and so those points are going to come from chat, golden features, and for data visualization. And so that you know certainly warrants spending a fair amount of time on that aspect of sliced. So, so what I'm so what I'm gathering here is uh, Adrian over in his Jupyter notebook is running some sort of model in Python. And he has his R Studio session here, uh, that's mostly available for him to play in for EDA or for data viz or for smaller models, perhaps. Uh, so if that is the path he's gone down, then we'll be seeing a lot more R Studio over the next hour here. Right, and are, I believe so. Are we waiting? I believe just for Adrian's submission. We've got submissions. We've got our other contestants are all on the leaderboard. Is that correct? Um, I, yeah, we have not, oh yeah. Here, uh. Do we want to do a prediction to see, are we going to see all of our four contestants on the leaderboard in the next 15 minutes? If that's what he's going to start yeah, working on. Yeah, let's, let's hear it. Let's do we, do you pay out the, uh, the other prediction already? I did. Yes. So that was a no, we didn't see any session crashes. So that's paid out. Okay. So let's see if Adrian gets on the board in the next 15 minutes then. Um, so that is, uh, 10, 15 PM. Well, all four contestants. And, uh, Adrian did go back to his Jupyter notebook here and it is not running anything as you can see by the, uh, uh, the, the not waiting sign in the top right, which is covered by chat, but just believe me, it's there. And, uh, I am very, very curious to know what he's waiting on for the next hour. Because he could be doing a lot 
with the with an hour. Let's take a look over here at Scott Cole's screen. Uh, Scott using XG boost here, and it looks like he is trying to kind of loosely tune. Oh, he actually did a grid search. He actually did a grid search. So he grid searched his XG boost model. Um, and it looks like he's trying to figure out which of these models he's going to be using. So uh, so we see some grid boost here. Um, I think I, I really like, Ethan, your idea for a prediction. I do want to do that one after this one wraps up. Um, will our top scorer on the leaderboard be a chat or a rando, or will it be one of our official competitors? <laughs> um, so uh, we'll do that one last. Um, Right. I think that makes I think that makes most sense to do last because um, yeah. we won't know until uh, that's also the leaderboard really, is finalized. That's also really hard. Uh, Meg, do you want to tell them a little about the leaderboard and and how it's calculated? Yeah, yeah. So if you're not familiar with Kaggle, um, there is a public leaderboard um, that are <laughs> I've got more memes. I see. Um, so if you're not familiar with Kaggle, we've got a public leaderboard. Um, so when our competitors or you chat, um, make a submission, so upload a prediction file, um, that gets evaluated on, uh, the test set or the holdout set, which is just 1% of the data. Um, and that's the public leaderboard. Um, so just 1% of the data, it's not super informative. Uh, when the competition ends, um, we flip uh, over to the private leaderboard, which is evaluated on the remaining 99% of the data. Um, so that's where we're going to see, um, you know, some reshuffling most likely, um, you know, who, you know, is overfit, um, versus not overfitting, um, is really going to tell us like, who's the true top of the leaderboard. Um, and so we'll find that out, uh, when, uh, the competition ends, uh, I believe just a little bit past um uh the two hour mark we've given a little bit of buffer uh, for our competitors which it looks like they won't need fortunately the real praises are the dads we made along the way <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at um josiah dad core perry here uh it looks like he is <laughs> tuning through some models and uh we're just uh kind of in a wait time here so that's Josiah. Let's go over to Kenzie. Kenzie, uh, still uh, sort of uh, slow and steady wins the race, perhaps, from Kenzie here. Um, he's still uh, transforming and, and creating different metrics here. Really interested to see if this is going to pan out for him uh, in terms of future engineering and, and uh, what, he's, what he's ultimately trying to do with um, what looks like mechanic, maybe he's trying to, to use that, that feature. Yeah. And that is part of, that's one half of, uh, of our 10 point golden feature. So if he uses both mechanic and category, uh, as features in his model, um, he could, uh, uh be discovering our second or yeah, our 10 point golden feature. Uh, let's take a look over at Scott Cole again, Scott Cole, who, uh, grid searched through his XG boost model. Looks like he is now trying to figure out if his model is actually legit, doing some cross fold validate or cross validation here, uh, or if his model was just overfit. Um, someone in someone in chat's asking, are there prizes? And there is. There is one prize, and that prize is if you are the chopped or sorry, if you are the sliced champion uh, at the end of the season, if you go through the playoffs and the finals you win out the person who is the slice champion goes home with an engraved knife the knife is engraved with the slice logo uh it is a chef's knife uh so so the winner will be literally able to slice things not just data but things things <laughs> no whether it's vegetables no, or I don't know what mm -hmm. else you you cut with a chef's knife, but mostly food, hopefully related things. 
Yeah, yeah. That's probably best if for a kitchen knife. <laughs> Shing! That's right. That's right, Tan. You become a dad if you win. <laughs> you become a dad if you uh, if you chant for Josiah. That's I feel. I feel if you are on Team Josiah tonight, uh, you you are you are dad. Team dad. How many dads are in chat? How many how many uh, how many uh, Josiah dads are in chat? Can we just get like a bunch of people spamming dad right now? Dad, dad, dad. Dad, dad. Look at all these dads. Dads. Dad. Oh my goodness. All these dads. <laughs> we gotta have a mom episode. <laughs> True. We need some, we need some, uh, we need some, uh, uh, maternal aspects here. Um, XG boost, uh, parameters now from, from, uh, from Scott. Yeah, yeah. Josiah's really getting into the tidy tech stuff. Um, looks like he's doing a TFIDF on um, a mechanic. Uh, or no, category. Not really sure what he's doing yet here. Ooh, yeah. Category. All right. Oh, bye. Yep, okay. We're about to get a plot. I'm excited. All right, let's take a look. So he's combining mechanic and category, which is um, a golden happening feature. in a data visualization. If it happens in a model, that's right. If he uses yeah. mechanic and category in a model, that's uh, ten points. Now be fifteen points going into the judging round. So this is pretty cool. This is a little bit meta, you know, that he's using tidy text, which is a library developed by uh, Julia Silge and David Robinson, who are, um, you know, there are package developers, but more importantly, they're also <laughs> future sliced contestants. Um, so we've got both Julia Silge and David Robinson uh, showing up for sliced later this month. Yes, and if you're interested in seeing the schedule for Sliced and uh, all the people who are be competing to uh, uh, on this channel Tuesdays, uh, go ahead and check us out on our Notion site. That should also be on the Kaggle site, and I uh, was so silly and did not put it in the exclamation Slice, so I'm going to do that right now. And actually, while I'm doing that, uh, why don't we take a look at... Uh, the final bio, which we haven't seen quite yet. Oh, uh, great idea. Uh, and that's Adrian's bio. So let's take a look at Adrian's uh, bio here while I uh, set some stuff up. Hello, my name is Adrian. Medina. You guys can call me Adrian. That's fine. You guys can pronounce it however you want. People have a hard time pronouncing that for some reason. Adrian. I was born in Mexico. Um, I moved here from my undergrad when I was 18, and I've been hanging here since I went to school to UTRGV for my undergrad, and then to UT Dallas for grad school. I did a, a kid design analytics with a focus in data science. Uh, right now, I'm a senior data analyst at FedEx. Um, I've been there for over a year now. Uh, since I graduated, I did. I was lucky enough to get an internship during the summer of 2019. I started coding. I started coding like two years ago, two and a half years ago. So I'm pretty new to this. You know the Dunning Kruger effect. A couple of months ago, I was here, and now I'm like here. So I'm trying to get to here. I try to be humble. I think I'm pretty humble. It's just a, your average guy trying to make it a state as I am. Just, Let's uh, hear a little more about Adrian, Meg. Yeah, I would love to tell you a little bit more about Adrian. Um, so he wanted to share uh, with Slice that his hobbies are playing guitar, spending time with his family, his dogs, hanging out with friends, and rooting for his favorite sports teams. He didn't tell us who his favorite sports teams are, but maybe he just means all of them. Um, some of the facts about him is that he's relatively new to data science, um, and he's eager to learn. Apparently, he's eager to learn live for sliced so let's be happy for that um he wanted to be a professional musician until he is 21 
Don't know what happened when he turned 21, but um, there you have it. He was born and raised in Mexico, and he's here on a worth of work visa in Spanish as his first language. Um, he says that he's bad under pressure um, and really nervous when people are watching. Um, literally, we were watching re him right now, so he probably feels nervous. Um, and that's actually why he just decided to join Sliced. Um, he wanted to work on that and challenge himself. So, yeah, huge props to Adrian for, um, you know, stepping up and being on Sliced. Um, not something that I could do, not something that I'm sure many of us could do, especially, you know, for those new to data science. So, go Adrian. Yeah, big props to Adrian for um, getting out of his comfort zone here. And... Truthfully, even for folks who thought that this might be up their alley, this is truly an uncomfortable, competitive data science moment when you are in Slice. So um, whether or not you explicitly are nervous like Adrian or uh, Josiah, or if you are more comfortable, uh, perhaps like Scott and uh, perhaps like Kenzie, you still are, you still probably have these nerves that you have less than an hour to go and you don't know how you're stacking up against the other three folks in your group right now right um and i know that our prediction is coming to a close in a couple of minutes i believe um and so i'm just checking to see if we've got i believe we're waiting on adrian's submission to the leaderboard um and he's not up there yet um, but I would like to welcome Pixel, who is um, one of our contestants from the Sliced Pilot. Welcome, Pixel uh, Landon. Um, he is also a, a Sliced participant this season. Um, so, yeah. So, great idea to be getting some live practice right now. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Something that didn't happen last season was a really easy way to see how you benchmark uh against your uh, against your opponents but also just uh, for yourself like are you able to put in predictions right. and uh are you able to you know how do you stack up against the field last pilot season it was one-on-ones for the most part um mm -hmm. so now that it's uh groups of four uh and also a far wider array of folks participating on this public forum uh you know being able to see where you stand across the larger uh, uh, community of data scientists and, and competitive data scientists at that is uh, pretty cool. And so I appreciate all currently 11 folks who have submitted on the public leaderboard. Uh, I appreciate you all hanging out and uh, taking time to do that. Yeah. What kind of dynamic do we think that adds to our contestants? The fact that they can see like Scott Cole third place right now in the leaderboard top of uh top of the leaderboard among our contestants um although you know reminder this is just on one percent of the test data but still there's got to be some psychological factor to that but yeah I wonder and, how that feels. and and folks on folks in chat mentioned like isn't there some sort of a um you know advantage that chat might have or advantage that maybe other contestants might have if they're sort of scoping out or 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 looking at how other contestants or how other folks are doing and where you stack up against that. And uh, because the sampling is so small, simply because it's, uh, you know, we don't want to give too much information away about who's doing well and who's not. Uh, but it's also, uh, you know, they can't hear what's going on. Uh, they, they don't have chat open. I don't think any of these folks are streaming. Uh, so uh, it, it's pretty difficult, I would say, for, mm -hmm. for the current contestant group to be uh to be getting any advantages now for folks in chat they could absolutely use all the information that they're seeing uh as they develop right. their personal models and, and check against our, com our our competitors so uh i don't i don't put too much weight into that but uh, yep. i do uh, uh i do think that all the competitors are are playing they're, they're using as much of their advantage without going uh o over any lines Yep. Hearts in chat for Excel. Okay, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Yeah, and Josiah is streaming. I do believe Josiah is um, streaming. Okay. Yep. Um, let's uh, let's actually take a look at uh, Josiah if he is streaming and uh, have a just a peek into his stream right now, if I can. 
get there in time. Meanwhile, I'm just kind of checking out to see if I notice any other golden features. Um, so here's Josiah. Let's uh, see if he's saying anything. It sounds like... Got some Gatorade or Powerade or whatever. Josiah, lo Josiah looks... Ah! Like oh, God. That, that was really loud. Sorry, chat. Data Lab. Oh, God. I'm getting my ass kicked. He's checking out himself in the leaderboard. Kicked. That's cool. <laughs> So, so Josiah's definitely locked in right what now. The fuck? Josiah's absolutely locked in. Um, and uh, excited to see how that's going to pan out as he uh, continues through the rest of, at the moment, 40 minutes left. That's right. I've given, you know, our, our contestants, giving them periodic reminders about uh, the time that they have remaining. So they just got a... A 45 minutes remaining warning. Uh, let's take a look at uh, at Adrian again. Uh, and you can see Adrian. Oh, actually, uh, we're going to pivot over to Scott. Uh, we got who Scott. Um, was just showing some feature important stuff, but he's now dropping in his submission. Here it is. Um, great comment there. Should be better as a comment code. <laughs> Does not drive your PMs or engineers crazy at all. <laughs> should be better. <laughs> should, should be better. Um, and now Scott, again, he's freaking out probably because he sees this RMSC of 0.04, but uh, unsure, and I'm pretty sure he's privy to the idea that it's a 1% sample. Uh, yep, we see it at the top there. The leaderboard's calculated approximately 1% of the test. So. Yeah. And also shout out Jin. Yo, Jin. Yo, Jin. <laughs> Yo, Jin. Uh, so Great. Scott did do a Shap plot here. Uh, he was looking for feature importance. Uh, Shap is a really easy way to get a pretty visualization and also a really data forward visualization in terms of modeling. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Shap, uh, it is uh, Shap is sh uh, made by uh, God. What's his name? Another Scott. Scott Lundberg, I believe, is his name, uh, and this is, it takes a model and it assigns uh, values to the model that are uh, related to how important each of these features are to the model. Um, if uh, the, a feature is important, then it would be ranked higher in SHAP values. Uh, if a feature is not as important, it would be lower on, on this uh, SHAP value leaderboard. Um, what are we seeing right now from oh, Scott here? Whoa, Scott is actually trying to get... So Scott works at Cash App, and Scott is actually trying to... Is this a bribe? I think he's trying to bribe some channel or some channel uh, votes here, some chat votes. So if you caught that, y'all, um, if you are interested in some... Uh, I believe it's Satoshi. <laughs> um, Scott... <gasps> Yes, he may be trying to make it rain right now. Uh, so if you saw Scott's, uh, if you saw Scott's screen there, if you could message, I believe that was Scott R. Cole on the Cash App, you may find yourself with uh, uh, some Cash App, some Cash App bucks. <laughs> I'm gladly take that from Scott. I'm very interested to know how many people will. Uh... That's great. There it is. Scott R. Cole is his cash tag. Uh, that's... <laughs> okay, and it looks like he is, uh, he's back to the list. It looks like there's shout-outs here for Josiah, so we'll go over to Josiah. Take a look how he's doing. And it looks like Josiah uh, is, again, uh, working his way through... Uh, is this the uh, is this the mechanics or is this? Um... I believe that's the category. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I yep. think you're right. I think this. I think is that's category. category. And what's that on the right there, Meg? Is that some sort of like feature weight? Um, I think this. I, I know he was doing some TF IDF stuff earlier. I don't know if that's um, still what we're looking at. 
Uh, that's term frequency inverse document frequency. Uh. Okay. Yeah, and, and remember, y'all, at the end of tonight, will be uh, chat will be voting on who they think is the uh, best in show tonight. So chat, uh, the the number one person you vote for ends up getting twenty points. Uh, 20 out of 100 possible points a participant, uh, a contestant can earn. Uh, so your your voting will be very powerful tonight, okay? Not insignificant. Um, Coach Key yeah. says, Scott paid me, which uh, that's a pretty wild. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty wild if, if true. Big if true. Big if true, I believe, is what they say for that one. <laughs> Damn, I, I guess I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Some of y'all greedy. Wow, Scott actually calling you out, y'all. I'm gonna get. Some of y'all greedy. <laughs> I'm gonna get risk blocked by. Okay, so again, if you didn't catch his bio, Scott works at Cash App. He's a he uh, he does machine learning engineering for Cash App, and he mostly works on fraud detection. So. <laughs> five people all right wow all right, so it seems so it seems like scott might be coasting here um that was a yeah that was a little bit of like peacocking or whatever you would say <laughs> i think uh but he does say he's trying to get a correlation matrix and he wants to see a geek score as a function of category and designer so he might try to see yeah. if uh, uh there's some just general correlative plots. And these are the things that I'm really interested in if you're doing a yeah. data visualization. It's not just about how do I get the best features into my model. It's also about mm -hmm. what's the story my data is telling without having yeah. to, to, to do much manipulation to it. So uh, I'm curious what they'll do at the designer. That's another like high cardinality, um, high cardinality field. You know, I, I don't know if there's like a Stephen King of board games, um, super prolific board game designers. I think these are sort of like individual designers. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what he what he uh, comes up with. And uh, we have an actual. <laughs> well, Ozma's a uh, uh, not just a a friend of the chat. But Ozma is definitely a Jeep owner. As we see from our tweets, right. <laughs> welcome back to the chat, Ozma. Yes, and I uh, I do see that our prediction period has elapsed. Um, so we wanted to see, will we have all four contestants uh, submit to the leaderboard by 10.15? And no, we're still waiting on Adrian. Um, and he's got about 35 minutes to make at least one submission. Um, so that is a no. Um, which 93% of you said, so. Wow. It betrays a lot of uh, confidence or lack thereof in Adrian. We are in Adrian's screen right now. You can see that he's working in a uh, Jupyter notebook, and it does look like he is trying to, at the very least, transform or normalize or scale some of his data. Uh, whether he'll be doing um, ratings uh, or sorry, prediction and modeling in Jupiter, I'm unsure. Uh, by the looks of things, he has done a good amount of stuff in the Jupiter Notebook here, but I have no clue as to exactly what he has been doing. Uh, so we'll have to uh, take, a, t take a closer look soon enough. Kaggle submission is taking forever. Are we breaking Kaggle submission right now? Is that what's, is that what's happening? Let's take I a think, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, Kanzi here. Uh, the last time we left Kanzi, Kanzi was working on some different features for feature engineering, and perhaps mm -hmm. Kanzi has uh, now realized that he needs to fill uh, some of these features. So it looks like he's actually going to try to utilize all 12 categorical features in his model. Yeah, which would you know put him up for a golden feature. Uh, if we do see that for the mechanic and category uh, columns. Stats in the wild. Greg is saying this uh, just makes me more nervous for my episode. You catch Greg and his group 
uh, arguably some are calling the uh, group of death, uh, June 22nd. <laughs> Who's in that group, Meg? Um, let's see. June 22nd, we've got uh, David D. Rob Robinson, Craig, uh, Greg Stats in the Wild Matthews, and Jesse Mostapak. That is a definitely stacked group. So if you're interested in this content, if you're interested in Slice in general, every Tuesday, <laughs> 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays, and uh, specifically June 22nd, if you want to see D-Rob, Jesse, Stats in the Wild, and Craig Mann competing. I'd also like to welcome uh, Afton to the leaderboard. Got another... Uh... I believe chat regular. Thank you. Uh, we're up to 12 uh, folks total on the leaderboard, uh, th including three of our contestants. Still waiting on Adrian. Um, people are saying next week looks pretty stacked as well. Uh, Meg, who are we looking at next week? Uh, next week, we've got Tony. Uh, it's me, Tony of Haber. Um, Julia Silgi, uh, Josh Polkamp. Paul Camp Hart, uh, Jordan, Data Dude, Wilhelm. Yes, Julia Silgi, two previous sliced contestants, um, also competing in that in that uh, group. Right. Um, we may as well round it out then uh, with our June fifteenth contestants, Nick. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, we've got Ethan Douglas. Um, thanks for hanging out and chat today with us, Ethan. Uh, my, uh, Michael Mularkey, uh, Kyle and his champs, Ligon, I believe. Um, Ligon. Our, Ligon? Our oh. Ligon, excuse me, not uh, wrong. Uh, <laughs> Kyle Ligon, um, our uh, previous uh, pilot sliced uh, champion, and Landon uh, Pixel uh, Buckner. Buckner, Buckner? Buckner, yeah, it's probably wrong. Uh, <laughs> that's what our rehearsals are for, Nick. That's right. I practice all the I practice yeah, my pronunciation of all the names. <laughs> uh right now we're on Kansi's screen. Uh let's go over to Scott Cole's screen for a moment, because it looks like he's putting together a fairly large categorical um uh, heat map here, and I'm unsure if he's going to try to use every single one of these features, or if he's just uh, playing around with data viz at this point. All right, and we are just about to hit the 30 minutes remaining mark, um, so I'm just about to send a another warning to our contestants. They've just got 30 minutes to impress us, impress chat. Make sure that they've got their final submissions made. Does the channel do gotta... a breakdown of performances afterwards? Would love to get more details into the players' tactics and the methods they use. So Wednesday, tomorrow, I'll walk through this data set and the stuff I would have done if I was competing. Uh, and if we do have access to the notebooks, we could also uh, dissect or take a look at uh, notebooks and uh, see how people did and perhaps... Uh, just based off my recency of the episode here, uh, take a look at uh, maybe uh, where they took a lot of time or perhaps where, where they could have spent more time. But yeah, the, the stream happens Mondays through Thursdays at 8.30 Eastern, not just Tuesdays, y'all. So if you're interested in live code, interested in live data science, and uh, just messing around with a bunch of data, and if you've enjoyed chat and enjoyed the people you're meeting here, uh, then uh, hang out with them again tomorrow, Thursday, every day. If you're interested in hanging out with us offline as well, uh, Discord is the place to be. That's where a lot of us just hang out and send links to each other and talk about data science. So go ahead and join the Discord. There's a link somewhere up there or perhaps down there somewhere. I think also exclamation discord will get you there. Uh, something we're going to try to do this, uh, this season is uh, put these episodes and also highlight reels of these episodes on YouTube. So exclamation YouTube or exclamation YT in chat will get you to our YouTube channel. 
There's already some sliced basics on there and uh, the first episode from last pilot season. We're going to try to put all the pilot season episodes up soon. Uh, and we're going to definitely try to get these episodes, this episode, episode one from the season, up there <laughs> at the end of the week, as well as a highlight reel. <laughs> we are. We are. Uh, let's let's go over to uh, the the dad himself, uh, Josiah Dadcor Perry. Is it is it bad if I'm trying to force his nickname to be Dadcor? I love it. Uh, before you do that, I I just want to want to mention that I see Kansy uh, right now just checking out the leaderboard and kind of like hovering over everybody's name and uh, you know, yeah. So there's definitely some psychological kind of stuff going on with the leaderboard with Kansy. So okay, okay. Uh, remember, this is a new feature here in the uh, in this season. Is uh, they didn't they weren't able to see the leaderboard before. Now, the thing is, again, if you're reading too much into the leaderboard, that might be a fool's errand because there's only one percent of your your holdout data that's being calculated. So it really truly is like almost noise that you're you're being graded on so we don't really know the true scores until the very end that's right we see uh josiah actually doing a ridge plot here uh a uh at least in one of the sessions he was doing this ridge plot i think he's still looking over uh, his modeling here He's already wrapping up, that's right. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I I did not know that dad core also meant my chat was gonna be spammed with dad jokes. <laughs> which was, I'm not surprised by that. Which is uh, <laughs> Pretty incredible. Let's take a look at Kanzi. Calls from the chat. Here's Kanzi. Um, again, that heat map at the very top of his notebook that he's looking at, that uh, uh, is a feature uh, correlation plot. Uh, mm -hmm. He really is going to try to split out mechanic here, Meg. What do you think about that? I move? think so. Yeah, he's the he's the person I see doing the most, I think, with, with mechanic. Um, so, I mean, I, I put him as most likely to use, uh, or to kind of discover, so to speak, our, uh, 10 point golden feature so far. Um, I think the other person would be, uh, Josiah, who is doing a little bit with it, um, with tidy text. Not sure yet if either has gotten to the point where they're ready to use it as a feature in their model yet. Here's Scott Cole who plotted this, uh, violin plot, and he actually does a categorical plot. So this is a, a golden feature. What do we got? Oh, yeah, we got it. All right. Okay, so Scott, we put him down for five points for discovering one of our golden features, which is um, using category in kind of categorical plot. You know, something that absolutely uh, rustles my feathers <laughs> is violin plots. I just absolutely hate the violin plots. I mean, he may, does, do you think he knows that? Because, I mean, he could probably picture us um, choosing violin plot as one of the golden features. Uh, I mean, but this is the thing, right? Like, as a person who's going to be assigning data visualization points, I... It's a little scary. Yeah, it looks like a comb right now. It's so, yeah, I don't know. The, oh, by the way, I just saw uh, through Scott's screen, uh, Jesse has uh, submitted... So some predictions up into the leaderboard. Oh, welcome, Jesse. Um, we've also got somebody who's going for last place, um, at least on the public leaderboard. They are successful. Uh, Francisco. Yo, me oh, Jesse, third place, just behind Scott. It's intimidating. Yo, tell, tell that Josh kid to meet me in the streets. <laughs> meet me in the streets. Violin plots suck. <laughs> shout out to my dude uh josh uh both north bay guys so
psychological <laughs> warfare. Well, you were tr- love it. You were definitely uh, you know with a public current public placing of third place. Uh, that will definitely strike fear into the hearts of uh, your field, including Stats in the Wild, who is in your group, and quite literally. Uh, this entire time has been saying how much he's been uh, afraid to do this. <laughs> Look at this from uh, from Kanzi, by the way. He's just uh, st- straight up l- Googling games. Wow. <laughs> Steffenfeld is my fave. Okay, so recognizing some game designer. Oh, it, oh, oh sorry. This is Scott. This is Scott. This, this is Scott. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. This is Scott. This isn't yeah. Kanzi. He's really flexing on us, isn't he? He's just like, yeah. It may, maybe he'll start playing a board game like online in front of us. Like, maybe he'll submit some uh, some reviews to boardgamegeek.com. Maybe he'll you know uh, you know submit some ratings to the data set. Uh. <laughs> We're uh, twenty minutes in, or twenty minutes left. Kanzi is, uh, you know, spending a lot of time going back and forth between the Kaggle leaderboard and his model. Now, again, uh, you know, they were told that they, it's only sampling 1%. Uh, so it truly is like, you know, a couple or a few rows that they're really looking at when it comes to that, that leaderboard. Yep. Uh, there's not much signal there. So if he's putting, if he's stressing out, and in my opinion, the way that he's clicking around his screen I think he is stressing out about where he's at and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the predictions he's putting up there. I don't think he's realizing that there, that his, exactly, his best score that he's looking at in his notebook through CrossVal is way more accurate than whatever the leaderboard yep. is telling him. Yep, that's right. Now, do we know if he's seeing any discrepancy between his own cross-validation and what he's seeing on... Uh... The public leaderboard? I haven't noticed. I I don't know, but if this is correct, I think he's actually about to try another model. With just 20 minutes remaining. I think he's... Ac- this is absolutely unhinged. <laughs> Madness. He is... Madness. Uh, he, he is actually psyching himself out. He is actually psyching himself out. He is. He is. He's actually making. A, he's actually doing this. Incredible. Uh, as I'm about to, you know, craft my message, the contestants. Just 15 minutes, people. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Kenzie is absolutely going for it here. He's got. He thinks. He's second guessing. Cat boost. He's second guessing. He his, is. His, oh my god. His bread and butter right now. That this is, is incredible. That is wild. That is wild. Yeah, he's training this model. That he's absolutely psyching himself out. Let's go back to Adrian. Uh, remember, Adrian yeah. here uh, was working on a model, and he was also trying to do some data viz here. He did some basic data visualization plots, as we see at the very bottom here. Uh, and, and I, I, I'm just saying, Meg, I, I'm not, a am not necessarily inspired right now too much from, from, uh, from the data visualization. Right. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't seen a ton and we are still waiting. We are still waiting on his first submission to the leaderboard. Um, so he's, he's our only contestant at the moment. who's not on the leaderboard. He has 20 minutes. <laughs> He's got just 20 minutes. So we've got Con- Kanzi, who's kind of starting starting over, you know, setting aside cap boost, setting, you know, starting over, um, training a new model. And we've got uh, Adrian, who's, you know, still working on his sort of first iteration. Uh, we'll go over here to Scott Cole's screen. Scott is looking at some uh, uh, actual versus real scores from his, uh, uh, I'm guessing these are out-of-sample predictions. Um, yep. And uh, unsure exactly. I see that he uh, calculated not just RMSE, but he's also calculating R squared. Uh, if you have been in my streams, I do the exact same thing. I usually use two metrics to to improve on. Now in Slice, since you only have to make one metric optimized, you don't necessarily have to make 
you don't necessarily have to compete with two metrics trying to be as optimal as possible. Um, so, so this may, so depending on how he's using R squared in his evaluation, um, he, it may be not necessarily the most optimal approach in sliced. So although a good idea in general practice in slice contest, maybe, uh, maybe a red herring here. Um, mm. but he is trying to, he is trying to get a feature out of designer. So given the time that he's had, uh -huh. he thinks that maybe the designer feature here, uh, is gonna, you know, smooth out some of the edges in his, in his predictions. I mean, yeah, it, it could make, could make sense. I don't know if there's, I don't know, enough, um, I don't know. I, I kind of worry that there's too much, too many unique designers uh, to get a ton of signal, but we'll, we'll see what he does. Uh, and let's take a look over here at Josiah. I remember Josiah was waiting for a bit for models to tune through. Uh, mm -hmm. His modeling is done at this point, and he is jumping around. He is, looks like he's going for a submission again here. It's always fun to watch them do the, do the submission live. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Drag and drop. Let's see if he's got some funny uh, submission notes. So this does say neural net predict. Oh, what what went on? What went on here, Meg? He uh, dragged his file in twice. Yeah, it looks like he maybe grabbed the wrong. <laughs> it got <That> worse. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh but no. see, this is the thing. He's reading into his his public score, right? Right. Yeah, they should not be relying heavily on the public score. So that's sort of like the whole idea between or behind just having, um, you know, 1% of, of the data uh, be part of the public leaderboard um, yeah. is that, you know, we really don't want our contestants to know the true ranking until we reveal the private leaderboard, which is on the remaining 99% of the data. I'm this... sure all of our future contestants in chat will are, are grasping that in this moment. This is this is absolutely crazy because I think they truly are psyching themselves out. Kanzi is psyching so. himself out and uh, being up in your own comments saying uh, your neural net that you trained is uh, not as good as perhaps uh, some some other model that was it looks like he was using an elastic net. So that's a that's that's a, that's a version of a linear model. Um, this is pretty wild if if he's actually gonna he is he might actually just do the random forest over his neural net he actually might put in the random forest instead of the neural net oh it's good amazing. it's just always amazing just to see this happen in in real live time uh here we got incredible. A, here's an error here from scott cole at the very uh at nearing the end 15 minutes left and he is getting uh um column errors so there's a column or columns missing in his uh in his data set and he's returning key errors for him he is uh frantically looking at for where this where he creates this thing cat calls is the feature he's looking right. for and um uh, let's see if he'll be able to fix this in time again he's really just trying to improve upon the model that he already submitted and he believes from what we see so far that the designer as a feature might give him a little edge uh based off of his cross validation so with just 15 minutes remaining, Nick, I think it's probably time for me to kick off our final prediction for chat. Um, and I think this is where we want to come back to the prediction. Will we see one of our contestants at number one position on the leaderboard? Yeah, let's so, uh, let's put that in. Let's put that in. So chat, uh, by the time uh, this is done on the public leaderboard, not on the private leaderboard, but the public leaderboard, Will we see someone in someone at the top from our from uh, chat or from the contestants? Now, mind I you, I think we want to do private leaderboard, Nick. Do, oh, do we want to do the private? Yeah. So this is sort of like the true ranking, right? Okay. Like okay. Okay. Public leaderboard is more or less random. Do we, do we want to? Do we want to do that 
Do we want to do that kind of later? Yeah, we could wait. Because, yeah. like, I think it's going to be, like, 30 minutes before we get there, right? It'll be 10 minutes af- past the hour um, that the leaderboard will flip. Okay. Okay. Well, if it's timed like that, then yeah, let's do it. Um, so remember chat, this is the private leaderboard, not the leaderboard that you see now. Um, so really base this on who do you think is doing best? Um, who do you think is performing the best? And do you think they can outperform, um, some of the folks uh, that are participating in the audience that include Kaggle Grandmasters? Remember Adrian, we're on Adrian's screen right now. And Adrian is trying to transform his data and make predictions he has yet to submit to Kaggle. He has yet to submit any predictions to Kaggle. I gotta say, I'm starting to sweat. I'm kind of really, really nervous for him right now. Yep. All right, I'd also like to welcome Jordan, Data Dude Wilhelm, to the leaderboard. Um, somehow you've you've beaten or reverse beaten uh, the person whose team name is going for last by placing uh, at 17 out of 17 on the leaderboard, so. Welcome and reverse congratulations. I will um I will absolutely say uh now that we're seeing here Jordan Wilhelm, uh I will absolutely say that I was not expecting seventeen people to submit public leaderboard and stuff. I'm loving it. I think this is fantastic. I, I think it's absolutely <laughs> incredible. What a great yes. use of uh, what a great use of Kaggle. I just love that there's so many sort of like layers of interactivity with our audience. Because um, yeah, don't forget audience chat. Um, you do uh, you know your sentiment figures heavily into you know the final scores of our contestants. You'll be voting for your favorite shortly. Um, in fact. Uh, so just about uh, 10 minutes ready left. For that. Just 10 minutes. And remember, we're right now on Adrian's screen because Adrian doesn't have predictions and he's got 10 minutes left. I don't even know where his model is. I don't know either. I'm a, I'm he had... getting nervous. I know we've seen some RNGs in the past. I'm not he... going to name names. We've seen some RNGs. There's time for that. But uh, is there time for modeling from Adrian? I don't know. This is this is really crazy because if he doesn't submit anything, then like he he can't win. It's not possible. Right, that is correct. That is correct. Like he needs a shot here. All right, I see that. Um, uh, Kanzi says, "Let's fucking and ensemble." I think <laughs> I can say that. I think I can say the f bomb. He did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, as co-host, I'm pretty sure you have a license to do whatever you want, Meg. One f bomb. Okay. What? Well, yeah. Is it PG thirteen or is it? Is this an R rated? <laughs> he, we do see his mean squared error from his previous model uh, is higher than his current model. His current model is a one five seven. Previous model is one five eight. So although it's not a ton of movement, it is quote unquote better. <laughs> and he looks like he's doing. Look, he's oh, he's doing some. He's doing some random waiting here. What is this? Wow. Arbitrary waiting! He's actually doing arbitrary waiting. What? LOL. And there you go. Arbitrary waiting. What is this? What? Okay. Is it going to work? Is this act Like, let's see. What's he going to get? I'm super interested now. All right, I just saw that uh, Josiah just made another submission, which was not an improvement over his um, previous submission. But remember, oh God, oh, it's so like. Oh. I see. I just see like a little bit of like doom scrolling from our contestants at this point. Oh my goodness. Oh. Speaking of doom scrolling, uh, over here at Scott Cole's screen, he is absolutely doing that. Look at this nice plot here. If he scrolled up a little, I. I'd love to see what this is going on. What's going on here? Oops. Let's see. Oh yeah, it, doing more stuff with designer. Uh, yeah, I suspect he might be bringing a little bit of domain knowledge uh, to this da data set. Uh, I believe he was a board game fan. You know, as much as as much as I was hating on violin plots, which Greg said that's all he's going to do now, 
Um, <laughs> you know, the variety of plots here is super important to me because it seems yeah. like he's really trying to tackle this in a lot of different visual. Oh, and he crashed his kernel. Ooh, if only that had happened. Oh, did it? Oh, no. Did he really oh, no, crash? No, okay. it stopped. It stopped. I think okay. we just lost the stream there. Yeah, I thought he crashed it. Oh, my God. I thought he crashed it. What a bad, what a rough moment to crash. Just that's ex eight, eight minutes. That's exactly, that's exactly where they, where you would see a crash though, is you did yeah, some, it's true. you did some crazy visualization that's not rendering and you try to stop it. And like, if it's running like JS in the background or it's running something else in the background, like you're in an infinite doom yep. loop. Yep. So, um, did not crash. Good for him. He could still uh, use his time here. Let's go back to Adrian again. Come on, this is terrible. I'm screwed Adrian. is what he said. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He looks like he may have a predictions file, which is what I need. What I need to see is just a prediction file. Oh, my goodness. He is in his own head right now. I do hope Adrian can figure it out. I do hope Adrian can figure it out. And he's bringing right. a third environment. What? <laughs> At the 11th hour, inspecting oh, his data in Excel. Oh no, do I see a mean? Is this, I can't tell if this is the, is it, oh, that's the sample submission. Okay, so he's checking out the sample submission. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Oh, I panicked there for a moment. Let's do a little bit better than sample oh, sample submission. Oh my goodness. Real data scientists use Excel. Oh my, hey, you know what? For everyone in chat who's like, Excel lol, um, Omega Excel lol. I get it, okay? Yes, you can, uh, you, can uh, you know, point your nose up at Excel, but we all started there, okay? We all started messing around data, downloaded it from somewhere, and the thing that opens up a CSV is probably Excel. Now, if you're as old yep. as me, maybe you opened it in Lotus 1, 2, 3, but uh, no Excel shame here. And uh, more, right. to, more to you if you find a use for Excel uh, and a, a, a new relationship with Excel as you uh, explore your data analytics uh, data scientist type careers. But goodness, three environments and he did something different in all of them. It's not like he's double backing or double checking work in different environments. He truly is and truly did use three absolutely different environments. So it looks like he's going to have time. We got five minutes left. Let's go over to Josiah. Josiah really is in his own head. He this is an XG boost model. So. He did a random forest. He's done a neural net. Uh, he did an elastic net model. Uh, he's done uh, linear regression. He he did fifteen different models that he trained through. And uh, to be completely honest with you, I'm pretty sure the neural net was probably going to be fine because the neural net was probably going to handle the linear features really well. And he sat on a pretty long training time. So I'm guessing it also, depending on the depth and, and the size of the neurons, um, probably did learn at least some of those categorical features. Um, now, my personal opinion is probably on this gradient boosting model. Uh, it's probably just handling the categorical features a little better um, without having to, to wait or tune through a neural net as, as heavily as you have to if you wanna get any, uh, any info out of those cat features. And so, uh, one, I even just saw that he tried to tune through an SVM. Oh my God. That is, wow. <laughs> he truly threw all that spaghetti at the wall, y'all. That is, that is incredible. That is actually incredible. I, uh, I wonder, he's gonna, he's gonna kick himself when he realizes that he's been, uh, reading tea leaves in that public leaderboard. That's right. Let's take a look at Scott <laughs> Cole. Oh, good. Uh, let's get a look at Scott Cole here. Scott Cole again. Uh, Ooh, Adrian is making a submission. Oh, let's go. Let's go. He is making a submission. Let's hop over to Adrian. Okay. So, okay. So he has not a random, he's not making a random submission. Okay. Or oh, look mean... at this. Look at, by the way, look at the quality check here. 
Look oh at the God. quality check. No one else did that, all right? He visually inspected all his rows through Excel. He wanted no questions. He wanted no questions. He's like, final moment. Got to get it right. Oh, my goodness. And with the one submission he has put it in, his score is 0.31 on the leaderboard is... Uh, and again, remember, this is... Um, this is random. So he is probably freaking out. Yep. Especially he's... when he just saw Scott's name as second place. He is probably absolutely freaking out. He has minimized he's... everything. Yes. And this could be incredible. He could be our winner. We don't know. Like, it's when the leaderboard f uh, flips from public to private, private, only then will we really know uh, the true ranking. But we don't know that he knows that. I don't think uh, he does. See, he does not. He's telling us right now. He doesn't. He, <laughs> he's giving us his sign off message right now. Oh my goodness. I don't um, think I don't think he ooh. knows. I don't think he knows, y'all. He could he could that could have been it. That could have been, you know, he could be our sliced winner. It's, um, it's we don't know. We don't know. We got a we we got a few minutes left. We got literally uh, a minute ish left. Let's go to Scott Cole. Oh goodness. Let's go to Scott Cole. Scott Cole is still trying to jab out some new features into a model. Uh, Josiah here, he has uh, three submissions remaining. He is dropping in his XG, bo XG boost submission, and he is, again, freaking out as to whether or not this has moved up. Is this better than the last time? And it is. It is. And he has, um, he, uh, he is trusting that the right. ra random number generator is, is true here. <laughs> So um, he is submitting an XG Boost model at the very end. That's Josiah Perry. Let's take a look at Kanzi Yi. Kanzi is throwing uh, a his model here. A submission three with the arbitrary weight weights. This is what we saw before. Oh um, man! He quite literally may be using arbitrary weights. He quite literally oh my God. may be using arbitrary weights. I can't test the bagged one. Oh my God! He's going to straight up. He's got. He's gonna straight up use it. He's oh gonna, my god! He's gonna use actual RNG at the end there. That is absolutely wild. Uh, let's take a look at Scott Cole. Scott Cole still trying to gain some points here. Another data visualization. This one over time. So from 1960 to uh, 2020, and this looks like it is a line plot year given geek rating. So was there drift in rating okay. as games got better now? In my opinion, you could say whether it's drift, you could say whether it's not drift. Uh, games just were better constructed as time went on. Um, so again, trying to uh, squeeze out every every last bit of data visualization effort there. Josiah here uh, looks like uh, no real mouse movement, no real cursor movement. He may be uh, just chilling at this point. We are I'm at back. 11 o'clock. This is pencils down. And that is the first episode of Sliced. So we're going to go into our judging in one second, y'all. Uh, give us one second. Meg, uh, give me a second. Yep, I'm giving you a second. Um, I have just let our contestants know that they should stop coding. No more submissions. They do have a few additional moments to pick their favorite submission on uh, their My Submissions tab on Kaggle. Um, if they haven't done, if we haven't seen them done so already, um, and um, yeah, we will be getting uh, the judging soon. Um, so as a reminder, we'll be kicking off uh, the chat poll. So be thinking right now about who was your favorite uh, contestant to watch uh, today. Uh, we'll be announcing who discovered and uh, uh, golden features and which golden features they discovered. Um, Nick and I will be evaluating, thinking about uh, their data visualization points. We'll be allocating uh, 30 points, uh, 15 points uh, for me and Nick each across all of our contestants. And then finally, we're going to take a look at how things landed on the uh, private leaderboard, which is um, evaluated on 99% of the data. It's not random. It's going to reveal us um, who is the true winner of the modeling portion of sliced and we're going to add up all of those points and see who is the winner of um season one episode one of sliced um 
All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I think I can go ahead and kick off um, our chat poll. Um, and a reminder, we also have one outstanding prediction to see if one of our contestants is going to end up as uh, the number one on our leaderboard among all of those who participated. Um, um, all right. Have we... Uh, uh, so how are we doing? Oh, my goodness. What is Kenzie doing? Oh, Kenzie is uh, sitting in the rad. That's what he's doing. Uh, how's Adrian doing? Adrian, uh, he has the stream ended on a uh, on Adrian's screen. Kenzie's through this. Josiah is waiting on. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, that's Josiah waiting on me. Waiting on him. Waiting on me. All right, that's good. And then All right. Take a look at Scott. Okay. And now, uh, do we have the poll in chat already, Meg? I am just about to hit enter on uh, the poll. Um, so chat. Please, I want 159 people in chat to vote for uh, their favorite among our four contestants, Adrian, Pansy, Scott, and Josiah. Who wins the hearts and minds of chat? Who wins 20 points? And starting now. All right, chat. This is you now, chat. This is you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we, uh, Meg, can you ask, uh, Scott to scroll through his notebook just so we could get one good look at all of his data viz? Yes. Gonna we're going to ask um, everyone to do this. All right. Let me, let me just tell all of them that we're going to ask them to do that. Um, one second here. Okay. Scott is doing it right now. So that's nice. <laughs> okay. I did ask them to start listening to the stream because we're going to need a little bit of help, I think, just confirming the golden features. Yes. Um, Uh, we're going to ask each of you to scroll through our notebooks. Scott, can you start? <laughs> um, all right. So what do we see here? Um, so we should let them know, um, to let our contestants know um, what their golden features were uh, that they were looking for. So the first golden feature that they're looking for that was worth 10 points um, was to use both mechanic and category in a model. Um, so um, maybe Scott can let us know, did you use um, mechanic and category in a model? Um, the second uh, golden feature worth five points is um, uh, a categorical plot. Uh, golden uh, feature worth category. five points Oh my is, goodness. Uh, I don't know what that was, Meg. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, oh, that might be someone in Discord. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> unmuting gotcha. or something. Got it. Okay. Um, okay, so look, who are we looking at now? Um, uh, this is Adrian. So if Adrian wants to scroll through, uh, we can take a look at his data visualization. Uh, we're looking at data visualization for Adrian, not, not code. Unless his outputs are here. Oh, here it is. His outputs are in line. Okay. Oh, it's R markdown. Okay. I get it now. All right. Okay, keep, keep. No, that's fine. Keep on going, dude. <laughs> yeah, show us what you got. Yep, so, we'll, yeah, we're looking for uh, use of the category feature uh, in a plot. Oh, was there an issue with the poll? Oh, there no, was there was not. We have a tie. There's a tie. <laughs> do we do a runoff or do we do a split vote? We have not encountered I, this scenario. I have never encountered that before. Oh, um, should we do a poll? <laughs> um, Meg, what do you feel? I think that we should split. Uh, but no, chat is saying runoff. Um... I, I'll do whatever you want, Meg. I could go either way. All but right, remember, this do... is precedence. This is, this is this precedence. Is, this is precedent. I think it's kind of fun to do a um, a runoff. Um, so who we were doing a runoff between... I lost the poll now. Okay, you're going to have to rewind. Yeah, tell me who I'm doing a runoff between. 
Um, well, you'll have you'll want to look at the vod because chat might screw, might chat might uh, uh, troll you. Am I going right. to be misled? I don't know how to look at the VOD. All right, let's take a look at Kanzi's notebook. Kanzi, if you could scroll through your data viz. Okay, Adrian and Josiah. Okay. Okay, so Kenzie's showing off that he did meet golden feature requirements there. Okay, all right. So we've got um, the 10-point golden feature for Kenzie of using both mechanic and category. Um, okay. All right, so that's 10 points. And then uh, let's go over to Josiah now. So Josiah, let's uh, take a scroll through, and then let's also take a look. Uh, I think we caught both of your uh, uh, golden features already, so no need for that. But let's uh, let's just take a look at data viz now. Yeah, could we click through the um, the plots here? I think right now we do see the uh, yeah category plot. So that is uh, we did capture that. Five points to Josiah for the. Okay. <laughs> you can still use the arrow uh, to to like show us the plots that you created. Uh... Yeah, there you go. Okay. I think there was just the one, and we got it. Yeah. Yep, and another one, but uh, same golden feature. And did we, we did not um, see a mechanic and category in a model from Josiah, is that correct? Uh, I don't believe he is mechanic and category. Okay, so that is five points for Josiah. Okay, uh, and the runoff is still going. Right now it's, chat, there's six, 167 of you and there's only 30 people voting. We got to get more. And on the on this side in the chat box, if you open that up, you'll see chat. And uh, you'll see at the top, there is a poll. That poll is what you need to use. All right. Josiah, it looks like uh, Josiah with uh, the, uh, the points here. Congrats, Josiah. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for bringing all the dads to chat. Um, so Josiah gets 20 points, and he's set a sliced precedent of you know, what happens in the case of a tie. Okay. And um, um, can we, what was the order? This is Josiah, Adrian, who and who? Who, were, who came in third and fourth? Ooh, shoot. Uh, Josiah, Adrian, I think it was Scott Kanzi? Okay. Oh, it was also a tie. Also a tie. Okay. Yep. Well, uh, I'll just do Scott Kansky then. Okay. 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 So chat, it's time now for the other points. So what are we at right now, Meg? All right. So uh, by my count, uh, we've got 20 points of chat vote uh, to Josiah. Uh, zero uh, chat points to the rest of our contestants since now we do runoffs in the case of ties. Um, for our golden features, um, Adrian with zero, uh, Kanzi with 10, uh, Scott with five, and Josiah with five. Okay, so uh, give me some totals. Um, so Adrian so far is at zero. Okay. Kanzi is at 10. Okay. Scott is at five. Okay. And Josiah is at 25. Okay. All right, chat. Uh, now we do data viz. Uh, oh, man. We're at data viz now. So let's start with Kanzi. Do you have your whiteboard, Meg? Oh, my gosh. I do. Okay. But I, I need a moment. I need a moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this is the hardest part um, of all of Sliced uh, for me, for the record. Okay. Okay. Because I needed to think about all of them together. 
Okay. I think I'm I think I'm ready. I'm ready okay. whenever whenever you are, Nick. Okay. Um Okay. Uh let's start with Kenzie. What are uh, hold on. Let me just uh let's start with um let's start with Kanzi. Okay. Um uh Okay. You ready? I am ready. Okay. Three, two, one. I hope you can see this. Yeah. All right, Meg, you gave Kanzi three. I gave him four. Uh, why three? Why three? Um, well, they, the points had to add up to 15, right? And uh, man, this is tough. This is a tough one for me. Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, what I remember from Kanzi's um, work, I liked, um, I think, some of kind of the correlation plots that I remember him doing. Um, he definitely seemed to use um, data visualization, you know, as kind of um, feeding into the modeling that he was doing. So I always kind of appreciate um, seeing that. Um, and I know, um, you know, this is maybe a little bit tangential, but one of the things that we commented on early on in Kanzi's work was, um, you know, some of the function definition that he did up front. Um, and so not quite part of uh, data visualization, but... Um, uh, you know, I want to give him some credit for that too. Um, but that said, it wasn't, you know, a ton of data visualization either. Um, so definitely more time spent on the modeling portion and we'll find out if that paid off. But, um, so that was my three. Okay. I gave, uh, I gave Kenzie four. I thought, uh, this was actually more of a, uh, a quantity and also just a, uh, uh, doing, doing a little more with, with just different feature plots. Um, I, I thought he he did a little more than both Adrian and Josiah personally, and so uh, I gave him uh, I gave him four points here uh, because I think he just uh, did a little more in terms of modeling uh, data visualization. Okay, uh, let's go with uh, Scott. All right, let me get my high tech little uh, device here. Ready. Ready when you are, Nick? Three, two, one. Five. Get sliced five. Okay. Um, yeah. Ooh. And uh, wow. I give him eight. So why five, Meg? Oh, man. I thought five was pretty good until I saw your eight. Um, I mean, I really liked um, like the diversity of stuff that Scott was doing, especially like uh, towards the end. You know, I think he had a lot of, he seemed to have plenty of heat seemed pretty comfortable in this challenge and he spent some of it memeing and doing Google search and flexing on us, but I'm glad to see that he used some of that time also to impress us with a pretty good diversity of uh, data visualizations, including like, I know a chat favorite of chat plots. Um, but you know, all of that, you know, I, um, I think I had a different favorite um, in the course of sliced. So I had fewer points total to allocate to Scott, but I was still um, impressed and I can understand why you gave him uh, eight, Nick. Yeah. So I, I gave him, I gave him eight here because this is a quantity of, of data visualization and also just the quality of data visualization. I, I, uh, we saw everything from modeling uh, validity type stuff. We saw chat plots from them. Uh, we we also saw just investigative stuff, not just in the beginning for correlations, but also at the end when he was trying to find even uh, time series and, and different things. So uh, utilize a lot of his time for data visualization uh, when when he wasn't necessarily doing modeling, and I thought that was time well spent. So uh, lots of story to be told through this data set, and I think he told a lot of it. So eight for for me. Um, all right, so let's go to Adrian. All right. I'm ready when you are, Nick. 
Uh, I am ready. All right, count us down. Okay, three, two, one. We both gave him one. Yep. Okay, so why one, Meg? Um, well, he he created some data visualizations. They were there, um, and um, but there wasn't a lot of them. He didn't spend a lot of time on on data visualization, unfortunately. Um, and so there's just not you know a ton to evaluate on. Um, they weren't bad per se, um, but uh, yeah. So I think one point um, one point for effort. So thanks, Adrian, for your data visualizations. Yeah, uh, I, but I think we would have wanted to see more. Yeah, I uh, you know I do appreciate modeling data visualization, but uh, given the other comp competitors and and the types of data visualization they did, uh, I feel like modeling and your your validity type uh, uh, data visualization and also base base plots um, it tells part of the story. But again, I I'm looking for more of the story to be told. So uh, other competitors did a little better job there. So I, I gave them a one. Uh, last but not least, and if you're <laughs> counting at home already, you probably know, uh, but uh, the points for Josiah here. Uh, you ready, Meg? Yes. Three, um... three two, one. Um, move, move yours over a little. Oh. Oh, so yeah. six. Okay. Wow. Big. Uh, and uh, let's hear. Let's hear why six, Meg. Yeah, um, I really liked Josiah's um, uh, data visualizations um, and, uh, you know, data storytelling. You know, he was one of the only contestants that did um, a fair bit of exploring uh, the text data, um, which is something that I think is going to be pretty, something that's pretty unique on Sliced. And so props for doing that. Um, I also like that he, you know, put in some time on, you know, making like nice titles and subtitles. Um, and you know, faceting, and you know, put a little bit of time into each plot, um, in addition to doing some diversity of um, you know exploration. So, yeah, that's my six. Yeah, you know, I think the plot that really stuck out to me to from from uh, Josiah was that ridge plot. So I thought that was mm -hmm. really you know, uh, even though ridge plots are are really cool and very popular to be used, uh, we haven't seen one in sliced yet, and uh, I gave him points for that. The other plots they plotted, even though they were categorical and golden feature plots, they still, to me, I just didn't really see that cohesive story. I still felt like it was uh, more exploratory and more yeah. investigating sort of uh, uh, what kind of features he was trying to use. So uh, didn't tell that story to me personally. I gave him a two for that. Um, I, I, I thought Kansi's uh, uh, storytelling through his data uh, visualization was a little, little more there, but... Uh, two nonetheless, and uh, probably uh, not not too much of a burn from the person who who got the twenty point runoff there. So, yeah. um, so two points from me. Uh, that brings our scores to. Uh, so, that brings our scores to um, uh, Adrian with two points. Uh, oh wait, let me uh, let me let's see. Okay, Adrian with two points, Kanzi with seventeen points, Scott with eighteen points, and Josiah with thirty three points. Okay. Uh, I will say, I don't know, should we calibrate? Should we have high inter-rater reliability or are we just sort of like, we just have different unique perspectives, Nick, on data visualization, no, that's I think, okay. I think this happened last time though, right? Like, yeah, uh, I think, so. I think the things that you looked for versus the things that I looked for were uh, yeah. a little more versus a little less, so. That's right, that's right. Um, are you ready? I think, I think this is the moment, this is, the final 35 points uh, for modeling. I think we do the private leaderboard reveal, Nick. Are we going to do a screen share for this? Oh, I, I, no, I'm going to, I'm going to read them one by All one. All right, let's, let's read them one by one. Okay. Um, and no one can see this, right? This is it just us? Uh, you can see it. It's live. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't spoil yourselves if you don't. Don't spoil out. it. Yeah. No spoilers in chat. Should we go emote mode only? Um, okay, uh, we'll start with Kanzi. Uh, Kanzi coming in with 17 points. Uh, Kanzi's score, and remember, we're looking for the lowest score. So, Kanzi's score is uh, a point 
169. 16993 to be specific. So Kanzi with a 0.16993, uh, that is uh, what you have to beat. So let's go to Scott Cole. Scott Cole, point two four two five nine. So Scott, uh, do you do not beat Kanzi, who's currently in the lead with point one six nine. Uh, next, we have Adrian. Adrian. Point. Two. Three, two. So, Adrian does not beat Kanzi. Uh, does beat Scott, but not Kanzi here. Okay, and last, Josiah. If Josiah, uh wins, he wins the night. Josiah yes. has a score of point one. Seven zero two eight. So Josiah um literally point oh 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 one Wow. Off. Wow. Josiah Incredible. literally 0. 0.0001. That, that's actually insane. Is that a sliced record? Is that like the that closest? Is, that is absolutely that's incredible. the closest. That's actually wow. insane. Wow. Um, so, so that is 35 points to Kanzi, and uh, that is easily the win there. So Kanzi yes. uh, winning the night with a total of, what's this total? Can I do math? 52. 52 yep. points uh, yep. for the night. Uh, second place goes to Josiah. That's 33 points. Uh, Scott with 18 and Adrian with two. Uh, that's not all, though. Remember, they carry these scores into their next uh, competition. So uh, tune in in a few weeks for their um, next time they compete. Um, but I do wanna, I do wanna thank our, all of our contestants for hanging out and uh, being uh, great competitors all the way to the end. Uh, incredible opening night here at, on my channel and here at Sliced Season 1, Episode 1. Uh, the number one person was from chat congratulations data lab uh gin sliced bread echo yes uh, echo um c torres um yeah for uh filling out positions one through five uh on our leaderboard wow and uh yeah congratulations to everyone uh thanks for coming in y'all and honestly 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 this was such an amazing night tonight uh i couldn't have asked for anything more than this so uh, i hope to see you all again uh not just next week 8 30 p.m eastern for another episode of slice but tomorrow 8 30 eastern for some sliced review and we're live here on this channel monday through thursday 8 30 p.m eastern doing all sorts of data science slice tuesdays 8 30 p.m eastern uh start at 8 30 go all the way till now so uh thank you streamlit thank you our studio for sponsors and uh, Meg, uh, you want to say any sign-off words? Um, yeah, this was so much fun. Thank you to our contestants. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to chat. Huge thank you to chat. Thanks for everybody who participated and watched along, uh, whether that was voting uh, for your favorite contestants, for participating in the predictions, or you know, even uh, coding along with our contestants on Kaggle. Um, yeah, this is an immense amount of fun, and I'm super excited for the next 11 episodes of Slice this summer. Nice. So, um, thank you, Meg. For me, I'm signing off. I appreciate all of you in chat. Thanks yet again. I'll see you next week, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, chat. Have an absolutely amazing night. We're raiding someone, so stick along for the raid. 
Um, let's see, who are we rating, y'all? Where are we going, chat? Where are we dropping, chat? We got, we got a, we got a hundred folks, and we are going somewhere. Where are we going? Reach out, no, let's rate, let's rate a smaller streamer. Let's rate a friend, let's rate a friend. Let's rate a friend, y'all. All right, we're going to Meta Dev Girl's stream. She's amazing. Let's go to Meta Dev Girl. She is amazing. So let's all get into the raid. Let's go raid her channel. Give her a bunch of love, okay? I want to see all of you in there. This is incredible. Thank you for the first night, y'all. Thanks for the bits and dozens and subs. Thanks you all for follow following. Thank you for all the people in chat just chatting. Thank you for everyone who's uh who's been lurking, anyone who was just watching on VOD, thank you too. Hi, YouTube. Uh, thanks for everyone who's, uh, who's also just in there trolling. I appreciate all the energy tonight. Um, if you are interested in my channel and you're interested in Data Science Live, uh, we stream every night, um, or sorry, Monday through Thursday, and remember that um, the money that goes to this channel actually goes back to chat. So if you were a student or if you were trying to change careers, um, let me know, because I remember being a student and not having a lot of uh, access to funds or financial means to go to conferences or, or do things that would advance my career in positive ways. So if you are a student or someone out there uh, trying trying to do that kind of stuff and strap for cash, let me know. More than happy to uh, uh, gift some cash your way. All right, I'll see you all over in Meta Dev Girl's stream. Give her a big old shout out for me, a big old raid, a big old tomb raid. Have a good night, okay? Have a good night.